What's good, everybody? Welcome to the 300th episode of Fun with Dumb, which is almost six years in the game. <laughs> no. I think when I started, I didn't have bags under my eyes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rick looked different, yeah. I think. Uh, <laughs> Steffi has gone through eight hair changes. I wasn't born then. <laughs> They wasn't born. She wasn't born then. Um, this is the 300th episode, y'all. Round of applause, everybody. Come Let's on. Let's go, baby. 300 episodes in. Oh how do you feel, gosh. Dom? I feel like I stuck with something for very long. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I was younger, I could never stick with oh, anything. Yeah. You know, I went through a breakdancing phase. Right. I know that's relevant. Wait, to, you went to a I went through a breakdancing phase. You know what I'm saying? I was even worse than the Australian girl. Come you know on, what I mean? Wow. Uh, I went through a DJ phase. Went through a graffiti phase, mm. you know, graffiti artists uh, also. And then I, I'm going to master all elements. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't. I didn't yeah. master all elements. But um, thank you guys so much, man. We are streaming live right now. We got, I see a lot of familiar people who've tuned in into the past. Like, is there any episode one people listening right now? Wow. Yeah. E1? Because that'd be crazy. California um, baby. For those who don't know. Episode one of the podcast was Jimmy O. Yang. Wow. Jimmy O. Yang. I had just met Jimmy around that time. Yeah. And um, how'd you wrangle him in? <laughs> how did, uh, do you remember how you asked him to be on the I think bus? I was at the, at the bar or something like that. <laughs> and we met for a drink and I asked him to be on this, the first episode of the pod. Wow. And I think even if you watch the earlier episodes of the pod, we still haven't caught our groove yet. Yeah, yeah. Still a little nervous and stuff. So that's one hell of a guess for the for the debut, though. Jimmy yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, man. And I was, you know, I, I look different in those episodes, too. It was just individual, right? It was just you. It was just me. Yeah. When did you decide to start adding co-hosts? I think during the pandemic. The pandemic was like, not, I couldn't get guests to begin with. Yeah. But I can get like a few of the friends who were willing to risk their lives to be in the studio <laughs> with so me. So strangers you barely know, you protected them. And the ones yeah. that you love and the close to you, he's like, come get affected with me. Well, we, I mean, we were hanging out with each other only, right? So yeah. I didn't, I felt like... It, it was like tiny studio by the way you guys are you know i can count on you guys to join of course of one course. of those people early in early in the fun with dumb days was rex dizzy it would be nice if rex yeah. was here should we bring I rex dizzy over here, here. is rex here <laughs> ladies and gentlemen let's bring rex dizzy <laughs> over <laughs> here let's go let's go you, man Wes. shout out i didn't even know people could donate all right yeah. lewis some... thank you for those three dollars um rec what's up you have been here since since day one you Feels know feels good <laughs> right <laughs> right yeah. I, the, I, the one of the greatest oh, episodes of this podcast was the great haircut, haircut debate, debate. Oh, and if you guys God. aren't familiar this was during the pandemic and this was when right when they announced that you shouldn't be going out and doing um it, using any of the services unless it's an essential yeah And one of those things was a haircut, <laughs> which I think the government hadn't counted that as an essential. Yeah. It wasn't an essential. So I stuck, I stuck firmly on my stance of not getting a haircut. Bro, we were all dealing with chemical imbalance at that time, bro. I, I, was, I was on one. I also right. just like to stir up some arguments. <laughs> well, the thing is, you see, like, the first time we come on as co-hosts, mm -hmm. it was, like, all happy and joyful. <laughs> And then just deteriorated. It deteriorated. With time. Every episode, we we're getting more and more sick of each other. Yeah, yeah. And I also that debate started in the car, actually. Mm. Wait, outside of the pod? Yeah. And it leaked into That's the pod. I, I think I it brought got it heated in. fast. I because brought it. I was it like, was a continuation. Well, look, you gonna bring this up? Wow. <laughs> so, so you just to, can you explain it a little bit? Yeah, let me recap. So, uh, barber shops weren't an essential. Like getting a haircut didn't seem like an essential thing you got to do, right? Mm -hmm. And that was my stance. Yeah, it's not essential. And Rec was like, "No, nah, I'm gonna go get a haircut." Well, listen, I agreed though. No, you went to I, go get a haircut. Go check the tape. You went I said, "I know, I know, it's not an essential, mm -hmm. but I want, I want a haircut." Yeah, you know, I, it makes me feel like feel normal good. in this abnormal time. I gotta revisit. That was that. my that was no, my no, argument. I'm just gonna but say, you kept you... on going, but it's not an essential. I was oh. like, yo, relax. And okay, dumb, you, we... you were throwing jabs. You were throwing I was. Do we have a clip of that, Alex, or no? Uh, I... It's all right. It's... It, yeah. We could come back to it. We come back to it. It's it cool though. I mean, we worked it out. Yeah, we worked it out. We I, well, wanna... well, the I funny love thing episodes is, like that. The funny thing is. He got a haircut. Like a week <laughs> yeah. after. No way. He did. Yes, you did, you did get you a won. haircut the week after. You got a haircut a week after. <laughs> I don't wow. know. If, I don't know about that. There's no oh, tape to go back snap. to. Um, no, There's we can no. check the next episode. <laughs> we won. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. 
Because you had to shoot. We got a tape. We got a clip. Cause okay. Because you, you had to shoot something. All right, let's see. Let's see if we got it. It was definitely harder back then. It was very underground to get a haircut because someone would have to risk their life as a yeah, hairstylist absolutely. to cut their hair. Or their business. Well, I think my business. argument, here's, here's my argument. My argument was that I don't think you should go out if, if they, you know, saying that you might get someone infected. But, but why did you then a go a week later? I did go. You did. I swear to God. Why would I lie about that? I, I believe Part that you do that. Part two. <laughs> why would I lie about that? Let's go. No, but, um, we can, can just watch a little bit of it. We don't have to go back to it. Can we just say, you know, a couple years after the pandemic, were we really risking our lives? Mm. Well, okay. Were, were we still... really risking our lives? Mm. Also, we didn't know some of the information. This is, oh, here we go. This was, how long ago? What are these Four hats? years ago. Oh my God. This was four years ago, y'all. Uh, is that my hair? from right there. <laughs> Yeah, why do Rick, I have the Ellen DeGeneres hair? Right? Oh, you know oh, it's what a that gas is? Mask. A gas. It's a gas. Okay. Right. Um, no, no, no. Hold the tabs muted. Once uh, tabs muted. Hold on, we're figuring it out. On mute site. Okay, shout out to all the donations. Who do I? Who do I shout out? Can they hear it? <laughs> okay, I can hear it. Can it's all right. Let me check this. Oh, were you guys wearing the hats because your hairs were all messed up? <laughs> well, yeah, that was yeah, a, were you guys no, covering? Was. You guys were all covering. There was a time we were trying to wear masks during the pod, but we couldn't do it. Rick has just... like three hats on. He yo, really yo, needed a haircut. My fit is kind of crazy. Your fit is I'm nuts. Kinda, I'm kind of loving it. Crazy. I think it's a bad Maru all out. Yo, I look like I'm playing. I'm on the Olympic. <laughs> Whoa, look at your hair, Rick. <gasps> oh, yeah. Rick. All right, what color do we is not that? Have to out? It's all good. I'm code red, guys. By the way, that's pre-baby too. On the pod right now, we have. All the original sound engineers, producers, <laughs> everyone who's worked on this pod behind the scenes. I want to shout out Tony K. Boop. We know, we remember Hello. Tony K back in the day. Of course. Uh, we rem uh, Is the camera on? Yeah, camera's on. Okay. If you guys don't know, Johnny Che worked with us <laughs> a few months ago for a while, and now he's like a world famous DJ. The Dave Wu, who's one of the producers currently right now, Let's along, go. along with Alex, Alex the intern. Shout Duh, out Alex rate the them. intern, man. Rate them. <laughs> rate them. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 rate them, and then what's what's the best thing about them and the worst thing about them? As a <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up my notes. No, 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 I'm kidding. They're all fantastic. Shout out to the behind the scenes crew, y'all. Um, we appreciate everyone right there, man. Um. Tony, why don't you say something since you're the OG sound engineer? Yeah. Give him the mic real quick. Yeah. Tony K. Fair. Tony K. He was one of the original. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it's uh it's been here. Let me let me say here real quick. It's, it's been uh how many years now? It's almost 6 years. 6 years, damn. Um, yeah, I've I've known Dumb since like high school though. Tony actually helped out on the hotbox shoots back in the day where, Are you I would, serious? where I would interview artists inside my car on oh, yeah. a hotboxed car. Wait, was he stoned too? Yeah. No, that <laughs> Wait, Tony would get stoned? Stoney's, Wait, so what do you do? Suction cup a GoPro under the windshield? Like, what else did he have to do? <laughs> nah, it was, he was just one of the, We've known each other since like, I was like 15, 16 years old or yeah. something, right? Wow. Yeah, crazy, crazy. That's when they used together. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you remember shooting those back to back? That's that was actually crazy. When we shot like two episodes back to back of the hot box, the yeah. second one was always trash. <laughs> Cause just so because high. we were so high. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yo, the fact that you got Sean Price, rest in peace, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Shout that's out. crazy. Shout out. Shot what like Doja Cat? Who else? Aquafina. Anderson Aquafina. was the first Anderson. episode of, wow. the, of the hot box. Um, Tony, thank you so much, man, You're for welcome, your services. Man. But I do want to mention when I started this podcast, you know who our producer was? George George Kimmel. Mm. George Kimmel, who does Tiger Belly, Bad Friends, yeah. was the original producer. And we surpassed him. And the crazy. white man helped us start this pod. <laughs> so shout out George Kimmel. And then like like few 30, <laughs> he 40. He moved on to do a better a few, No, a few 30, 40 episodes <laughs> in. A few 30, 40 episodes in, he was like, bro, we're not making any money. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here and he dipped. So shout out George though. George is a Damn. legend. He didn't care. He helped. He set set me up here to That's go amazing. on 300 episodes. So shout wow. out GK. Shout out George Kimmel, man. Um, Rec, how do you feel, man? Good. Wait. You look like you just woke up, my G. Yeah, did you just wake <laughs> up? Be honest, man. Every Don't day is a day. fever dream, dude. It's <laughs> yeah, man. You still getting haircuts in the pandemic or what? <laughs> <laughs> I do know the one thing about Rec, he is not like us. He'll get a haircut 
every week or something, no matter what situation, mm. you know. I think if he ever became homeless, he'd still get a haircut. He likes to be on How much are I mean? you paying for these haircuts? Not a lot. How much? I'm not paying Fumi prices. I guess I would tell me how much you sp- you spend. Fumi's like, hair is terrible, by the way. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Fumi's I mean, you, God damn. hair. You kind of have the same hairstyle. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have the uh, Ivy League wait, dropout. Wait, 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 why? Why? How much is he spending? No, nah, I, sp- I spend like twenty five bucks. That's it. Okay, yeah. guess how much he pay- he pays. No, no, hold on, hold on. Wait, I was like, tell We're the not people. doing that. We're not. <laughs> how much doing do you that. pay? How do you become a cash cuties episode? Yeah, yeah, what is this a cash cuties episode? <laughs> like how much do you? Yo, sixty dollars. Fumi, Fumi pays sixty. You, you pay sixty. No, no, I don't. I don't. I, don't. Like, I know you don't pay sixty. Yeah. Well, no, so I know that your not, girl. Your girl helps you cut it, right? Nah, nah, no. Nah, you pay twenty five. I just go to a Dominican spot. You know, keep it low key. Yeah, I go to. I go to like. I don't go to no Korean. I don't. You see, here's my thing. I don't. I can't. If you're using clippers, I don't even want you to touch. What my is head, wrong man. with you, B? Let me talk to you real quick. You better pull out the nah. fancy scissors. Well, well, he, his hair isn't f- clipper hair. Yeah. You got to pull out the scissors. I don't like the little fades y'all do and all of that. You know what I mean? Can't do it on. I don't pubes. like the taper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your hair. Just- <laughs> I need scissors, man. I need gold scissors. Y'all yeah. are using bronze scissors. I know. See, you know? I got on. Olympic scissors working on this hair Have right you seen here, those, man. Uh, uh, y'all you- got Australian scissors working on your hair. <laughs> Hair, bro, <laughs> top rocking all over your hair. Come on, baby. I love that girl. Wait, what? Today's hip hop's birthday, bro. August 11th. Is it really? Yeah, it's hip hop's birthday. Out of here. <laughs> Look it up. Give it to Goog. <laughs> wait, wait. It's hip hop's birthday today, man. So I just want to say, to Cedric Gav. When I say real, why is it hip hop's birthday? Y'all say hip hop. How did August that even? This was not planned. First of all. Come on, not plan. Why do, do you have that in your calendars? I just, <laughs> <laughs> is here every August 11th? But what? Yo, what? Why I'm the Rick only rap. Why is Rick You're always trying to overcompensate real- and out hip hop us, though? I'm not trying to out hip hop. Virginia you. in the house. I'm not trying to out hip hop. That's the crazy you. part. He's not out. He had it in his. He just knows. I just know, man. Because he cares. I knew it too. No, you didn't. I. I no, Someone he knows. Someone said that in the group chat. Yeah, today. he knows. He knows. Uh, well, what what makes it um the birthday today? Is they like cool Herc do a party or something yeah, or what? Yeah. Oh, I really? Yeah. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, so well, I mean, speaking of that, the happy B-boy birthday. Thing. Well, okay, f- uh, forget our pod three hundredth episode <laughs> then. It's hip hop's birthday. Great. Wow. No, that's perfect. Dude. I just want to shout that out. I think it's a beautiful thing that hey, you boys. It's only appropriate, Steffi. Say something. It's only appropriate that the other people, all of you guys, do a little rap. <laughs> it's oh. Let's go. That you can, uh, hold on, hold on. Multi syllab bakes. Oh, no. We had a sad right. segment called Multi Syllab Bakes <laughs> where <laughs> Steffi kicks a freestyle. Mm. Right. Honestly, yo, right. I'll tell you right now. Whatever Steffi does when mm-hmm. she raps is way more interesting than like 90 percent of rappers <laughs> yeah. all right okay. let's see let's go kick that <laughs> like, beat and I'm, not, right. I'm not even kidding do it slow though <laughs> let's go. can we all add in 300 <laughs> fun <laughs> with the 300th episode <laughs> go you gotta keep rhyming <laughs> 300th episode <laughs> i got big toes Let's dance and play a, a song and sing along and make okay. a dance with all right, all right, us. You got worse. You got worse. Dude, you I can't do it. Wow. I just, yeah. Dude, I that started was a sweating. Dis- she said, I have big toes. Let's dance. Can I say, I love can that. Steffi please dress up as that Australian B-girl <laughs> Yo. for Halloween? Yeah. I would love that. Yeah, yeah. That would go crazy. Dude, when I'm not on the spot i am good at it though no, right no, don't we all do it yeah. can you guys you know what i'm actually annoyed why don't you guys actually rap <laughs> it's honestly crazy that i'm the only one that's we always rap. rapping on here yeah none of what us you no, rap. No, you're yeah, the real when's the last time here. you've seen us la- no, you, the real why don't you here. you know what you, why don't i hear you multi-syllab yourself yeah. <laughs> multi-syllab wreck yeah Ooh. go ahead and then i need you guys you to add in mike buddy forgot how to pot or what Forgot, forgot how to pod, but never forgot how to frog. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to God. Um, we, it, by the way, it. guys, we are live today on our podcast. This is live. Someone's asking if it's live. Yes, it is live. Um, <laughs> shout out to the kangaroo pose. I guarantee you people in b-boy battles are going to do the kangaroo pose yeah i know they're like clowning on it but everyone's going to do those moves yeah can you guys show us i i didn't watch it so can you show me what it's, she was doing i mean everyone's seen it it's just like can you but did you study it since <laughs> you said that you did hip-hop dancing in the past <laughs> you did hip-hop dancing <laughs> don't ever say i did hip-hop dancing all right so all right? show us break dance nah, nah 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 we're not doing that right now do you uh, 
<laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> yo, yo, it is the thir- 300th episode. Is there room to do like a little... Seriously. A little thing? That's right. And Steffi, why don't you come? You See, why am you? I? Because you're the dancer in the group. Did you ever see us dance? Well, oh, that's we an honor. Do a 1990. Okay. okay. Oh no! Go. What are we doing? Oh man! Doing it! Oh! He <laughs> <laughs> couldn't even yell. What the hell was that? Is your foot okay? Oh my god! Yo, is your foot oh okay? Oh my god! That was so loud. Yo, okay. it was worth Dude. it. That was crazy, it was bro. Are you okay? Is your foot okay? It's, you know what's crazy? It's just not. You not can't. Big space. It's what if you broke sp- your leg? I think you might have broke your foot, bro. Holy. Okay, no, good, not man. the toes. Not the Adam Sandler Damn, shorts. Damn, I was wrong. You got bigger toes than me. Holy wow. shoot. Okay, well, well I try wow. to do it, man. I try to do it. Thank, you for, trying. Thank you, know you for I mean? trying. Thank yeah. you for trying. Thank you for trying. Damn, that was crazy. Rick's mic, it's disconnected, I think. Honestly, A for effort. Can yeah, we yeah. give that out? Are we good? Thank you. A man. round of applause um, from I production. Another, you know, I gotta say when oh Rick, switch, switch, Rick switch the mic. I gotta say when um, you know, Rick. Uh, and Rec joined the pod, and then finally later on, Steffi joined the pod. It just made everything so much more elevated, man. Right. I needed it. I felt like I, I said, found right, my, right. No, I, I felt like I found my family, dude. Oh, I mean? Wow. Can Thank we get? Some, can we get real for a second? Yeah. Can I, I'm gonna do. get real, real right now. Yeah. When we first started doing the pod, we jumped in live streaming. It wasn't something we'd record and edit, so we would freestyle it off the top. And as we developed and kind of got better and better i was like these guys have similar humors like me you know what i mean like we have <laughs> similar we're friends Aww. and we became best of friends through the phone with dumb podcast so i just want to say thank you and for that. I, I think it also like made us more distant with each other yeah. as friends too <laughs> you know what i mean wait yeah. it took the pot for you to realize that a little bit we've been hanging out for years now what are you talking about <laughs> but nah, you know but... what the pod what it does is you end up opening up all these all of you guys open up more than you guys normally would yeah right like you guys get more deep and yeah. intentional i about shared the conversation. almost every embarrassing thing about my life on the pod <laughs> yeah you, you did. know men on podcasts is just women in real life Oh, <laughs> tell me not. No, because we That's like fucked ta- up, we can talk. No, I'm saying we. It's good. No, it's beautiful. Is it? Oh like, yeah. Wait, no. we were just I saying wasn't... like you know that, women you just guys... they sit and they listen to each other and they talk, mm-hmm. and guys is like uh, you want to watch this? And then like, <laughs> I oh. mean, imagine we you know? did it for me. I know if I didn't have this like one or two hours a week to kind of vent and talk and get vulnerable. Yeah, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. <laughs> I'd be out there. You'd just... be dead. <laughs> I may be dead. I mean, it, it's done wonders for my mental health in the last six years. Yeah. I know there's all these memes or like men will do anything except yeah, therapy. Yeah, yeah. But will they do six years of a podcast? You mm. know what I mean? Actually, it's not there's easy. a lot of men on podcasts. Yes, they would do this. They would do <laughs> good it old stuff instead of That's true. yeah anything. That's true. So this is good. But I'm really, I'm really happy that. Uh, you feel better. I, I, and I want to thank a lot of people who were tuning in live during the time and calling in through Discord. Mm-hmm. And uh, that includes some of the regulars that I see on here on the YouTube. Yeah. Um, if you want to call in, we are going to take calls today. So hit us up on our Discord. I don't know if we're going to try out Zoom or not. Is that too complicated or what? We, we can try it. We I want to see it. their faces. I want to hear them ask like intense questions, yeah. like real questions that we have to answer. Yeah, I got to say that this pod is definitely loved and respected <laughs> for all the co-hosts on, on here, you know? It's like people go out there. I, I go out there and people just like, yo, man, the pod, love it. Listen to it all the time. Yeah, me too, man. And I feel like, did you fart? Something smells. It's someone's foot. Someone someone's walked fart. in. Relax. No, no, no. <laughs> Literally, someone walked in. It was it, you, when you walked in. Some I I whiffed some feet smell. Mm, it's okay. It wasn't me when I took the sock off. Okay, right? yours looks clean. I think it's yeah. Dumb's because I feel like he. Oh, I smell that. Too. Do you smell yeah. it? It yeah, smell. It's, it's his. Like it's, I smell like uh, I don't know. I feel like Dave's face is getting so red over mm, there. He farted, huh? That's a Chinese fart. That is a. Is, it does smell medicinal. It does. Yeah. No, I'm wow. saying chi- little, not offensively. Chi- this smells like Tiger Bomb. It smells like Tiger oh, Bomb. Th- is oh, it this? this? Oh, I was like, is that a Chinese <laughs> fart? Oh, that's just a Chinese. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, not offensive. We got 
got a lot of Chinese fans. We love Chinese. Yeah. We've had a lot of people on this pod. Oh, t- trust me, I'd rather have a Chinese fart than a Korean fart, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? You know. We had Ronnie Chang on here. We had Andrea Jin. We've had some debates of this like Chinese versus Korean debate yeah. for a long time. But we've we've I think we've made relations stronger between two communities. <laughs> yeah, you think that we did that? That was Ronnie. I feel like Ronnie brought that yeah, together. Yeah, we've for made us relationships too. a lot stronger. Shout out Sheila Ave who's been on the show. Come on. She couldn't Shout make it today, out. but um my girlfriend. Yeah, Virgo's in the building. Um and man, <laughs> all the guests we've had. Who are your favorite guests? Who yeah. are my favorite? Oh, and then we'll say who are <laughs> least your- favorite. No, guests. I know my you least wouldn't. favorite. Well, your best performing one really? was with Jesse. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but this year, how about this year? This but, year, but favorite <laughs> favorite guest doesn't technically mean just the highest views. It's highest, just, that's yeah. true. Yes. Yes. It's just what who you enjoyed the most. Because some guests, you know, one of my favorite episodes is still the one I did with the two Bobbies, Bobby yeah, Lee and Bobby was- Hundreds. <clears throat> You guys this were was clicking. like within our first 50 episodes. It was me, Bobby Lee, and Bobby Hundreds. Bobby Lee and Bobby Hundreds had met for the first time on that episode. And yeah. we did that episode for like three hours. Why did you put them together? I mean, that's a cute idea, but... <laughs> it was just like literally the two Bobbies in my phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait, uh, so you were, okay, so you were scrolling to your phone. Who should I call for the pod? And like, Bobby, Bobby... Well, there are two interesting Bobbies. No, no, I like I like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, I just want to know the psyche behind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will say also Stevie Weeby and Jeremiah Watkins. That was good. Those episodes are fire. That was good. Yeah. There was one episode we talked about poop and fart, like for a whole hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, we did. It was insane. Stevie yeah, I wasn't there for that one. Steffi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Steffi gets down with the poop. I, and farts. I do like it sometimes. Yeah. I, you know, what? I took a stand-up class, and then they shamed me that I was making poop jokes. Dude, it was a stand-up I, class, and then I, I left because I was so ashamed of myself. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, Is you're spending like you're, you're spending like days on these poop jokes, <laughs> and then it just didn't hit. <laughs> Give us, give us a she joke. She literally <laughs> turned to me, and s- the teacher turned to me. She said, "You can do better than that." Wow! And I was like, "Holy shit!" But you what if I like, can't? <laughs> she'd be like, "Are you shitting me?" Yeah. Well, get, wow. no, literally, I think I said give, something. Give like us a that. poop joke. No, I'm not gonna poop. Give us a premise. Poopy. I don't even remember him anymore. I literally give us have a to- shart. <laughs> <laughs> you have one poop I joke. I shit for shat, <laughs> tit for tat. <laughs> well, Break okay. dance. This now you're gonna My rhyme. My ass is fat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Poopity pippity poo. <laughs> Who is you? <laughs> what? Okay. All right. So cool. speaking of the pod too, though, like Thank during you, the Tony. during the pandemic, we've had little like uh, remember Dumb World for like a for like a oh yeah well month? that was <laughs> during the pandemic we did <laughs> a lot the of stream the yak the ox gang stream we were yeah we you know what we pivoted pretty well when it came to the standstill I, you know I, what I mean there, there was a lot of uh, moments that. I think nobody watched that just kind of kept us entertained yeah. in that room. It was another studio. And yeah. and I think we were kind of going crazy. That's why this pod, it's like, I've had so many good moments, but there's so many dark moments. We People don't realize we fought so much behind yeah. the scenes. I mean, we tell them every episode. We you did know? tell we, them. We, tell we them did. We, we've yelled at each other. Yeah. Rick has gotten drunk and trashed us. Yeah, yeah. Can I tell? Night. Can I tell? Yeah, they story. talk about that story. So I don't think Alex looks at me the same after that. Explain the story. Yes. So apparently, hold on, uh, hold on. Why don't you let Alex explain his side first? <laughs> oh I think God. he deserves his side of oh, the story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell? Alex, tell your side of the story. And don't leave any details out, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. So, uh this was I'd say maybe 2 years ago. It sounds about like that. So, um it was Careful. after the stream. Um and, you know, throughout this pod we definitely go we have ups and downs and, you know, I think <laughs> Dumb was feeling a little bit down, you know, cuz like Rick wasn't showing up on time, you know. But uh, as soon as the pod ended, like Dumb had to go somewhere and then I said something to Rick. I was like, "Hey man, like are you gonna be? Are you gonna be on time next time? You know, and there was <laughs> and a then he snap. snapped. There was a snap. It, oh, wait, let me go back to you because you're standing up. Um, but but unfortunately, what happened was like, you, like you you got up and then got like right in my face and then like kind of pushed me into the chair and was just towering over me, just being like, "Yo, like you don't get to say shit to me." Like yada yada yada. The the quote from that was, um, 
like I want to spill your guts like gopchang or something like that. Dude, there was like <laughs> there was like the craziest thing, and I was like freaking out because like I, so crazy wait, wait, that I added gopchang. Wait, Bob, Bob Ross Co- was created that day. <laughs> gopchang is intestines in Korean. <laughs> so you said you're gonna like punch him and rip his intestines yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I was going to um, disembowel him. That was the word. I was hoping you'd say that. And, and I rem- all I did, and let me guess, tell you how I found out. So I'm out and about with some friends. I get a phone call from Alex, and this is what Alex sounds like. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Yo, dumb. I can't do this anymore, man. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. He said he's going to rip my guts out <laughs> like Kopchang. I had to look up what Kopchang was. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> What that is? It turns out it's intestines. <laughs> I'm like Alex, just just hang on there, but don't quit, buddy. I got you. Let me let me look into this. Yeah. And and I called Rick, and he was like, "What do you mean? <laughs> I, I don't remember." Everyone up. loves Kupcha. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he's like licking his fingers, <laughs> eating something. Like, hey, what are you about? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, are you at Korean barbecue right now? He's like, no, I'm still at the pot studio. No, but all jokes aside. So, so hold on, hold on. Let yeah, me finish yeah, the story. Yeah. So, yeah. I come back to the studio, and everyone's gone. I look on the walls. There is. So I feel like he added that. There, oh, I swear no. to God, Alex. Dude, that was I swear to God. There were splashes of soju. I know. You, you, I threw, really, you I did that. You threw multiple things, including one of those like 24-hour hangover remedy things. That's what it was. It's literally still all over our mixing board yeah, that we're using I, right I, here. I, I, but I don't remember doing that, so I thought you kind of planned it up. Because the thing is... Who would know? What if, what if Bob Ross? Well, is like, I definitely don't see Alex ever. Being I do. I see him doing that. I see wait, him wait, doing the like, fact you don't remember gonna, is yeah. that you turned into like the Incredible Hulk, but like Bob Ross. <laughs> you you wake up, come back to your regular self, and you're like, I did it again. I vlogged. Yeah. <laughs> I did a Bob Ross vlog. Oh no, <laughs> no, no. But sometimes I, we dissociate when we're really angry. I sincerely, I, I apologize to. I apologized to Alex and. To this day, you know, just want to make sure that doesn't happen again. But people know, the ones that really know me, like, I can become very diabolic at times. You know what I mean? Like, my anger goes real red. And I think when he said that smart-ass line to me, <laughs> that's smart. Because this was an hour and a half of dumb already berating me publicly, saying it online. So I'm like, all right, cool. I got it. Got it. And then as I'm leaving, hey, Rick. <laughs> Okay, I gotta say, as he's saying it back, that is a crazy line for you to say, Alex. <laughs> what was going through your head? What was going through your head right there? He's like, "Yo, you know it what? Was, I'm it was just like, little... yeah, just like you know, like you gotta be, you gotta be on, you're gonna be on time next time, right?" Bro. And then that was, yeah, that, that was you the wrong thing to say. T- Are you crazy? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's crazy, bro. And you knew Rick was a little buzz too. Oh my god, I'm in bro. the mood for Gulp Chung right <laughs> now. Anyways, yeah. um, anyway, he, Rick did apologize, and, yeah, and yeah. they did make amends. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we've had so many fights on this pod, too. Yeah. I almost quit this pod. I, 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 we never knew. <laughs> we I never did. Knew. He would talk about it. Like, you you, you talked about it, like, yeah. so many times. I know. But, but I'm it's glad more, I stuck with it, man. But it wasn't because of this. It was more like the when you would get busy, right? It wasn't well, it's not, about It's not com- that. People don't realize how hard it is to stay consistent yeah. with a yeah. pod. You know with what I'm anything, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it's not... Well, people don't realize in these 300 episodes, like this pod, I've I've invested so much into this pod, like Mm -hmm. the studio, the equipment, the people I have working on this. And really, it it is really hard to recoup or like, you know, but I I do it because I like the content we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Are you break even yet? I don't, nah, he's still under- I, should, I, I don't think I'll ever break even, honestly, <laughs> yeah, man. I break, I, you know, That's the beauty of it, though, is that you're not doing it just for, you know, finances or anything else. It's because you enjoy it. Let's and manifest. I think that's Let's, else manifest. Let's manifest together. What, what, um, what's your ideal sponsor for this part? Ooh, my ideal Who would you sponsor. Want Are we putting sponsor it out there right now? Yes. Vision boarding? Yes. Right, let's do it. But as we shout out the sponsor, aren't we giving them a free plug right now? That's true. Yeah. But we, we got to It'll do be... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's fine. That's not true. You can I talk about things you like. Okay, okay. Let's okay. still... talk about things we like. <laughs> we like. I like. I like food. You know. Mm-hmm. But I would like. You know, my my dream. I mean, if I can go. Oh, Dickies or something. Well, that's uh, like Dickies. You know, Converse okay. maybe. Carhartt maybe. Yeah, Carhartt. No. Not Nike, dude. I'm just describing my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nike. Yeah, that'd be great. I would love to do like a Taco Bell commercial, guys. Ooh, I and did like, one in the past. Can you can you imagine us doing a Taco Bell commercial and we're like, <laughs> we're like, oh, we act like stoners at night, <laughs> and we're like, yo, K Town. Oh, I'm so tired. I like how Stephanie's then, impersonation of. Remember when we did the 420 episode? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, Stoner Steffi is the best Steffi. because Steffi has such an old perception of what a stoner is. Like, <laughs> it's like such an old cliche. Pastor Devil's lettuce. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you show us. <laughs> yeah, sure. Show us how you think stoners smoke. Hey, go, well, go. Give us okay. a, give us a joint pool. Give us Yo, a. Yo, uh, wait, hold on. Pass me, pass it to me, bro. <laughs> pass, then, pass it to, pass right. to. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's the good stuff. Was oh. that Reefer Madness back in the day? Yeah. No, this, she That's saw good. Jim Brewer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then I, I pass it to you. Yeah. All right. Okay. The 420 episode, <laughs> y'all. Um, go watch that one. That was a few years back. That was a few years back. And I mean, just think about some of the stuff that we've gone through, too, with like Rick. He has a baby now. Yeah. He, he didn't have a baby when we started. He was, were you even, I don't think you were even with your girl at the time. I wasn't. You actually. weren't. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Me being on the pod is the reason why I hit up Donna during the pandemic <gasps> to rekindle. Why? So if anything, you fuck my girl, bro. <laughs> okay. If what anything, what the hell? you made my son. No, the pod Wait, definitely the helped. That was a jump. That's no. what you call a tripod. Wait, have you? Have you? No, what? yes. Have you smashed? No. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, have you guys all ever hooked up with the same girl? Like an Eskimo brother? Sure, whatever you want to name it. Uh, I don't kiss and tell ever. I don't. Yeah, I don't. You ever. don't. Oh, so you guys don't know? Okay. Yeah, I don't share. Right. You know. Oh, I, I, I. Yeah. I never kiss and tell. Man. All right. Never even had sex. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh man, no. Yeah, definitely. Pandemic. The quarantine was when we rekindled, and that's when uh, things were in motion. So yeah. This is a pod. Damn, birth. that's crazy. Yeah, so much has happened during that time. So we, this it, pod is so, yeah. I think I think that the pod is the reason I got that roll on beef too. Yes. I it think is. anything I credit, good I that credit. happened to our life is from the pod, man. Whoa. Like, whoa <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I mean, with a lot of opportunities. <laughs> really, your life. A lot of opportunities pod bless did you, happen. <laughs> a lot of opportunities. Pod did. <laughs> yeah. Pod did. <laughs> There it is. There it is. We were looking for it. We yeah. found it. <laughs> uh, we also did a 7-Eleven commercial because of the pod. Mm, Me, Steffi, and Rick yeah. were in a 7-Eleven uh, commercial. I don't know where Rick was during that time. It's good, it's good check, too. To yeah. be fair, though, Rick had the opportunity for all, a lot of things like beef oh, no, and but stuff, remember, but he didn't even that like, was Samsung check era. his That email. was Samsung era. That was, remember, I had a Samsung. I have an app, I iPhone now. It's a whole different world now, man. <laughs> Have I not been punctual? <laughs> Every day. I'm on point. Pick up my phone calls. Check my messages. <laughs> iPhone, baby. That's what it is. It was the, the Samsung era, Rick. That's the Kupchung days, you know? But now, we, we've elevated now. It's a different life. I'm a dad, all right? I love when Rick feels like he's backed against the wall. You know what I mean? What's that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it was the most nervous. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we, I think we did a pod during the time that was some of the toughest time to do it like that pandemic covid uh blm stop asian hate i had people pulling me from all sides during yeah. that time about that stuff i had so we many were... hate comments in my <laughs> dms Are you it was serious? insane so many hate like you're not saying enough about this right. you're saying too much about right. this you're but you said that it was from the asian community right it was just all communities who, you know, want to be heard and represented. And yeah. I'm like, I want to talk about poo. Yeah. You know? And so it yeah, was like. Yeah, we're literally taking a detour talking about this. <laughs> it exactly. was just it was just a lot of people just pulling from every angle. And I get it. I it was a tough time. Everyone's going through it. it, it you know, everyone's on the edge. A lot of anxiety. Yeah. But I think we handled ourselves well. And, yeah, and we've bro. talked about so many things. We I think the best thing we did during that time was take live calls and hear what people are feeling all around all outside you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying good segue <laughs> that no, was no it is for that's sure. how we handled it we were just like yo we don't we don't know better i think we got remember <clears throat> we were getting calls from doctors during covid yeah 
And you mean like, the love doctor? <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 no. Like no, the actual COVID yeah, yeah, yeah. doctor. COVID uh, experts. But no one knew. So it's funny when you watch the COVID episodes. We're, like this. we're all like trying to figure out. There's like no haircuts. Yeah, that's how we stop COVID. No haircuts. You know, like. <laughs> hey, hey, how about this? That's interesting. Um, what are some episodes that you really like that you thought were slept on? Ooh, what episodes were slept on? Mm. I do think I do think <laughs> <laughs> I do think uh, I think there's a lot of episodes that were slept on honestly. Yeah, name some. I'm trying to think. I mean, if if I may, like the our bromance, I mean not bromance, sorry, like a bro dates, like when it's no guest just us. Yeah. I rewatched a few of those just to reference and just kind of there was a lot of quality like gems that were shared during our bro dates. Yeah, I think those are good. You know, I also thought the Bobby Hundreds episode, just him Say on the Bobby recent time, one more time in this episode, he dropped a lot of yeah. heat in that episode that right. people kind of slept on. You know, that was the good. therapy one recently that we did, it was pretty good. We needed that one. Yeah, that, that one was, was good. Vulnerable. The tarot card reading with Danny, that was fun. Yeah, why don't we take a few calls? Are we do we have anybody we can take right now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. test it out. Oh, there you go. Okay, Hi. who is this? Mac Easy? Hi. Has now blocked off all the names, so I'm just going by first letter. Okay. Mac Easy? <clears throat> Hello. How are you, man? Ah, this this was right. our this was one of our early fun with them fans from London mm -hmm. calling in. We love you. It's been a minute, yeah, isn't it? Uh, yeah, no, it's been a <laughs> been a real long time. Um I guess uh yeah, it's great to see you guys again. Um proper throwback. Um really uh, yeah, just Carried on following. Really proud of all of you um, for everything that you've done. Um, yeah. So name everything we've done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, no, don't, don't, no, don't really do that. Don't do that. Don't Correct. do that. Wait. Okay, what? What's some don't of your that. favorite moments from the episode uh, from Fun with Dumb? Hmm. I, I would say um, a more recent one is uh, the episode you guys did with uh, Ronnie and uh, Andrea. Oh, Andrea just walked in. That's crazy. Wow, that Andrea, why don't you sit over here? Come in. We you smell good. You smell Thank clean. You. Whoa, I showered. <laughs> you might be the best smelling guest we've had on this call. Thank oh, you. So you know what I'm talking, right? She yeah, cool, man. It's a Yay. Canadian. <laughs> it's Canadian. It's Canadian, Canadian waters. Stench. It's a bird. Hey, Andrea, is my, how you feel about being my HMAR buddy? I feel okay, fine about that. Yeah, there's no reception in there. I wish there was. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, hold on. We got we got Wait, Mac so, Easy calling from London. Let's talk to him real And quick. he like he was saying what his favorite episode was, and one it of them was, was Ronnie Ching and oh, you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, hey, that was really fun. I gotta say that Mac also um, started his own podcast, maybe inspired by Fun with Dom. How many episodes did you do, Mac? Oh, I got I got to thirty. So actually, this is um yeah, this is ironic. that like you're on three hundred episodes. I've done thirty episodes. So um yeah it's like are, are you still doing it or what? Um not right now. Um so you understand the difficulty, right? Of keeping So it up. I win. <laughs> I won by a landslide. Uh no, I got I got too busy. I was thinking of um like restarting it and then on episode 50 I'll try and like do one with you guys, but that's like further in the future. We'll call us when you make it to 50, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you still got 20 weeks left, all Good right? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Yo, you should keep doing it, Mac. You have a very therapeutic and nice voice, bro. It's a good voice. It's a very it, good voice, bro. I thought this was like my Siri. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they changed my Siri thing. <laughs> um, uh, Mac, what's some of your favorite episodes of ours? Uh, he said the Ronnie and Andrea. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, the one with, uh, well, any, anyone that has... Um, uh, Andrea on it. Oh, oh isn't that I, cute? I don't All riz right. through Discord right yeah, now. Bro. <laughs> yeah, this ain't Rizcord, yeah, fam. This Mac is Discord. All right, good. chill out. That's right. so nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I like it. <laughs> um, I think um, yeah, no, the one that you guys did with uh, Selena, um, Selena Caroma, which actually uh, makes me think: What are you guys gonna do for Bad Rap Ten Years? Is that coming up? Uh. In <laughs> Two, in two years, Sali Selena uh, Salima Karoma is the director of the documentary that we were in called Amazing Bad movie. Rap. Mm. Uh, me, Rick, and Rec and Aquafina were in it. You guys can check it out on streaming platforms somewhere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, dad. Mac, you got anything else to say before we uh, take on another caller? Um, I guess uh, yeah. Congratulations on three hundred. Uh, looking forward to all of your guys's uh, future 
endeavors and uh yeah a- andrea come do edinburgh fringe all right hang up on all right, if you say andrea one more time i swear you will never be able to call we're gonna actually ban the word andrea in the chat oh. so you're not gonna be able to type no. andrea no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding Don't yo mac that. thank you man. shout out mac please bro hey, he really is a mac isn't he <laughs> yeah all right let's take another call we got n n can i just say i missed this right now man this the call nice, it man. feels good it feels oh, like yeah. home i hated it after a while but n what's up who's this what's yeah, your name oh it's niceberg niceberg oh! i remember this guy what's up how's it going everyone how's it going what's up bro long time hello <laughs> yeah, I remember the last time I was on here, I think Rec was saying that Asians were mid. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you mean Jesus. by Asians being mid? Because I remember when you said that, you kind of got a few people really pissed, right? Yeah, I was just saying that, well, I had a lot of um, support points to back it up. You know, I was like, you know, when we're growing up, our parents don't really share, like, you know, any type of music culture besides like classical music mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And then we don't have, you know, like performers and stuff like in our like our relatives. Nobody's like a actor before or like some, you know, dancer. Yeah. So it's just like it's yeah, hard. No There's a curve, There's yeah. a, you know, and I was saying that that made a lot of us men. <laughs> No, I, I, I agree. And it's changing now. And now I think a lot of Asians are super talented and, so, and doing. So great. let me ask you this: Do you think just there's gonna be a lot more? Just it's extremely talented. Hella, hella progressive because I mean, we do have a, we do the, have a history of musicians. Well, and we're stuff. gonna be the we're gonna be the parents. Asian Americans. They say Asian Americans are mid. You said yeah. Did you yeah, say Asian, Asian Americans are mid or Asian Asians Americans? Are mid? Asian Americans. But you don't think Asians are mid? Like Asian Asians? Are no. Mid. Because they're, you know... Yeah. Why don't you go it? back to where you came from, yeah. all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. What's, What's up, Iceberg? How you been, baby? Oh, yeah, wait. So did you uh, want to, like, refute that or what? I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going through a breakup as of right now, so... <laughs> Whose no, fault was it? Never. Wait, wait. Were you going through a breakup last night, Yeah, Nicole? I think you were. <clears throat> um, no, that was Matt. That was a different... That was, that was, that was Matt, Matt, yeah, Matt yeah. Yeah, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. <laughs> hey hold on could you turn them up real quick on the speaker please turn them up all right um like tell us about this breakup how long were you with her or him uh, like, uh 18 months 18 months and uh what happened what went what went a wrong um she, we were in different stages stages of life so like when i was on this podcast i was in it was during covid mm. and like i was in grad school i didn't really have any friends to hang out with and stuff like that and uh, my girl was like a f- maybe three, four years older than I was and mm. was living in Taiwan for two years and repeatedly told me that she was living, she already lived that life of going out, meeting people, meeting friends, going to bars, going to parties. And I didn't really have that experience until like my mid to late 20s. Right. So like pretty much right now. And, you know, I wanted to go out and, you know, have fun, especially with her as well. Sometimes I wanted to take her out, show her out show her off sometimes and she wasn't really feeling that so when i would be out with my friends she would think that i was getting more enjoyment from those relationships than my than my romantic one mm-hmm. so mm. combine that with some other issues and you know we tried it didn't really work out in the speak, end so um, it, you know what let me tell you from a, let me speak to you about somebody who also is obsessed with your homies you know um you gotta you gotta let go of your homies sometimes, man. You know, my homies have ruined all my relationships. You know, um, what are you talking oh about, bro? You need to let go of your homies. Bro. <laughs> what What do you mean? No, you I I just mean I no I just mean that I got like I was more into hanging out with my boys mm. than then she's like not my the girl. One. Then she's not the one. Perhaps. You don't think so? Nah, maybe I don't she, know. Maybe maybe someone you know where you're like, oh, I don't want to be with friends. I want to be with this girl. Yeah. Really, that happens. I think the different uh, the issue with Niceberg right now is just the incompatible hoe phases. You know what I'm saying? So like she had hers a while ago, and then you're having yours now, and it's just you know the times passed. Uh, how you feeling? You hurting? Are you are you recovering? How you feeling, bro? Kinchana? Um, I was hurting the first like probably day and a half. I think like towards because this is like fairly recently, like 
not even a Wait, week the ago. first day? <laughs> that was quick, fam. Oh, my Jeez. God. Wolverine heel, huh? <laughs> Damn. Because he saw his awesome friends after. Right. Yeah. And right. then he's like, I'm better. Yeah, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling better now just yeah. because I have people that, um, you know, really care about me and support me and stuff. So I've been talking to them and you know, trying to realize, like, I guess, like, what, what I would, obviously, what I would, what would I desire in a in a partner and like vice versa what would be good for the partner in, in terms of what I could provide them so right I mean that was I'm um, honestly that was my first relationship so um first relationship ever I can't really get everything all in one go but I guess it takes it takes some um, trial and error to learn and grow and um and evolve and stuff like that but I, that was just me trying to kind of balance multiple relationships at one time and maybe I'd put maybe I'd put on maybe I try too much I guess I don't know. I think she just needed to do more stuff. She wasn't doing enough stuff. You you need you like you gotta do activities. You she know. Wasn't Plus, doing also the stuff. Taiwan America thing is kind of wild, bro. You know, LDRs are hard, man. For sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, Taiwan's not, confused. At the end of the day, man, I like, I was like, a, I wanted to go out and experience life, and I tried to do that with her, and then she wasn't really reciprocating the same things like that. So. You know, that's kind of another reason it didn't work out. But yeah, yeah, I, I'm always, I'm always open to like your ears and opinions. Obviously, I, I respect you guys, but like, I don't know. I guess, bro, you put your head down. You put your head head down, and you grinded through grad school. You deserve to go out and have fun and relax a little bit. Hopefully, someone comes your way that you know just fits your groove, bro. You'll be alright. I mean, Rick's the only one with a successful relationship, so I wouldn't take any <laughs> advice from any of us over here, to be honest. And that includes behind the camera and front. So, actually, Alex has actually, a successful one. Hey, Dave has a dog. Yeah, Dave has a dog. I have a dog. I have a dog as well. Uh, Johnny's a DJ. No, you don't. Yeah. My dog is with you my know. family, but... You have a business relationship with your dog, which is great. <laughs> yeah, we miss each other. But we'll All right, well, work. Niceberg, we're going to keep it moving. Thanks for calling in, and good luck, buddy. Try Thanks, a dating bro. app or something. Thanks for the fun times. Keep doing what you're doing. I've been listening every week, every wow. single dude. week. So I really appreciate what good you've luck. been doing. Keep it up. Good and you have a fan you, out here in the East Coast, in the DMV area. So if you ever swing by, I'll definitely come see you. Yak's got a show in Virginia in October. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll, I'm sorry, I might see you guys then. All right, peace. Cool, Bye. thanks, man. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Darwo, y'all. Hey, before you, before we talk to Darwo, um, you know what he's mentioning about the pandemic where people stay in. And I just talked to Zoe yesterday, DJ Zoe, and he said nightlife is really struggling right now because all the kids who turned 21 was all during, it was COVID time. Mm-hmm. So they didn't get to experience like bottle popping and getting tables at oh. clubs that now they're not into that kind of stuff. That's so like number crazy. numbers at clubs has gone down and dwindled. So nightlife is like extremely struggling. That's what that's what he said. It's a that's thing. That's crazy. Oh, I man. think it's just from tick. I think it's because they like to TikTok more than go out. I don't think it's about the drinking. <laughs> that sounded, didn't that drink. That sounded so old, right? Old head right there. <laughs> These, children. These children love to tick and then they love to talk. <laughs> I tell you that. Well, also, dude, like, they're making the, hella money just TikTok. The economy isn't doing too well either. Yeah, everyone's yeah, struggling so. for sure. It's expensive yeah. to go out and it do is, stuff. It is. Yeah. Yeah, and also, yeah, there is that perception changing though. Like, it's not cool to pop bottles and shit as much as we thought it was back in the day. I never thought it was that tight. To be honest, yeah, I always got shy when the, the girls <laughs> would come with the the, okay, the letters aw- on the thing. Yeah. It's like, awkward. It's awkward because it it's like, awkward. what do you do? Like, can I touch them? Like, I can't touch them. <laughs> so if I can't touch them, then what do I do? How do I interact with them? I, they're just <laughs> waitresses, <laughs> Andrea. <Yeah. laughs> Jesus. But, but they're like, you know, they're like showing me their body. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> it was just like sh- I hate it when they be like, yeah, dumbfounded. Yeah. Let's get lit. It's on the sign, and then I just yeah, see you're like, holding my name. I can touch you. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I own you if you're holding my name. If you're holding my name, I can I get to touch a little. I see. Okay. Okay. I mean, yo, like, I don't know. Popping bottles is fun, though. You ever I, see I that? You fun. ever see that clip? Of yeah, them? it's fun because you're not paying for it, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Is he, yeah, he hasn't paid for <laughs> one no, bottle. Stop, bro. Yeah. Stop. Let's go to the club, dude. <laughs> I was like, why is Rec having so much fun right now? <laughs> so carefree. I don't think I've paid for one bottle ever. <laughs> of course, we yeah. know. Me too. I always run away. Yeah. <laughs> I touch the girls and then I run away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's talk to Darwo. Darwo. These names are fun. They, they are fun. Everybody's names. names. Darwo's on. 
Darwo, what's up? Talk to us. What's good, Darwo? Hey. Turn them up. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, Hello. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> well, like pretty much since day one. Wow. But I haven't had, yeah, but couldn't really call until after the pandemic. Did you say that you were a follower since day one? Wow. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, I have a few. Of, uh, Parker. Yeah, I have a Parker, few quiz questions to, for you, um, buddy. Hold on, man. Hold on. Let the guy <laughs> talk, Rick. Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah. yeah. I just want to say congrats. Yeah. And uh, hopefully Parker can come back and uh, join. Have a Parker as a guest. Are you Australian? Yeah. What the? Okay. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. What Whoa. do you mean? He yeah, sounds nah. complete Australian. It's Wait, like, we, do, we haven't done Minority Report in we will, so long. We will. We will. We will. Is that yeah. Okay, why don't we do Minority Report with Darwo right now? Why don't you guess what Darwo is? He's from Australia, but you don't know his actual ethnic background. Taiwanese. So. That is true. Can he talk um, more? Okay, Can hold you on. Talk more? Give him a give sentence. Your stuff. Can you give him a sentence? Oh, um, I'm... Uh, hold on. Wait, hold on, Darwo. <laughs> I hit the woe like Darwo. Oh, good sentence. <laughs> so, sorry, can you repeat that again? I hit the woe like Darwo. <laughs> sorry, can you give me the sentence? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he can't hear. <laughs> can Say, you hear me? <laughs> I'm calling in right now from Australia. I'm calling in right now from Australia. Chinese or Chinese Taiwanese? Or Taiwanese. Yeah, yeah. Chinese. Chinese or Taiwanese exactly. for sure. Okay, Chinese. so what do you say? I say Taiwanese. What China. Uh, Taiwan, China. I'm gonna say white. What? Whoa. Yeah. All right. Let's see. You got it. It's Chinese. Let's go. <laughs> you know why? Because Chinese people. No, have you like, said Taiwanese, bro. When they speak English, it's like. Jeez, calm down. Hey, I agree. Chi Taiwan is China. So. Oh Whoa. my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, Andrea getting spicy today. Holy shit! She got that political. mala. She got that mala. I always bring it. Um, I feel like, uh, <laughs> like, do you guys agree that like, I feel like Chinese? People like learn English better. Oh yeah, yeah. I what? Well, okay. Compared to Japanese people? No, to Koreans, I guess. No, you know what it is? It's their ERs. Their their ER. Oh. They say everything like you know. Is that a motherfucker? It's like motherfucker. Like that's they, true. They I say, say, yeah, I yeah, say yeah, fucker. Yeah, yeah. You say fucker, yeah, right? I say fucker. Yeah. So they can never say the N word. Cool. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. Uh, well, Koreans no. are saying paka. <laughs> <laughs> After watching three hundred episodes, what do you think? One thing you learned. About people, I was thinking that. about I was like, Asians or anything. One yeah. thing you learned, if you had to sum it up to one person. Yeah, did you that's, learn? That's did right, you right, learn let anything? Him talk, let him talk. I've learned that there is a big difference between ramen and ramyun. <laughs> there is. Thank you. There I is your know. contribution to Thank society. You. <laughs> <laughs> your one contribution. Ramen, ramen. That's Honestly, what three hundredth episode. I, I'm not I'll mad. Wait, <laughs> is it just the Japanese versus? So ramen is the Japanese version. <laughs> yeah, ramyun <laughs> is the Korean version. It's in a bag. Yes. Yeah, one's I the good see. one. One's the trash version. And Whoa. my take was that ramyun is better than ramen. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yo, guys, go to Japan and eat some ramen. No, I know. have. I've been to Japan, You're bro. Right. And it's whatever. Hey, I don't trust your food taste. Anyway. I just feel like they're, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? they're very different things. Yeah. They taste yeah, they're completely different. different. Yeah. You know, like, one plate, you, you have to tip. And the other one, you don't have to tip anyone. Yeah, but they're two different <laughs> things, but it's fine. You can say, like, hamburgers are better than hot dogs. They're two different things, and you can say one's the better than the other. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a, you know, one-letter switch on yeah. this one. Switch your name, ramen. You know what I mean? We got ramen. <laughs> exactly. Yo, Darwo, thank you, bro. Thanks. I can't live without uh, both. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Darwo. Appreciate it. Uh, let's talk to Merboy Tears. Nah, Japanese ramen's fine. I'm just good. It's good, too. Yeah, it's good, too. <laughs> I like it. Well, backpedal. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. I think Korean ramen is bad. Backpedal was an Olympic sport. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What did you say? I think it's bad. It's too oh, spicy. Okay, let me let me double down something. Okay, it's too spicy. Can, can I hit you with something else? That Jiang <laughs> Jiang Yang sucks too. You know what I mean? <laughs> it feels feels better. Okay. <laughs> can I can I can I say something? I, okay. I I I across the board think all Korean soups are way better than 
any Chinese soup. That's crazy. No, that's it's no, true. I, 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 it's okay, true. I I'm sorry. For How no. many soups have you tried from China? I know exactly. I don't, I don't think you know the soups. I've, tri- I've, I've ordered some from Timu. Like, I've, <laughs> I heard, I've tried some. I've tried some broths. Mm. You're wilding. What? Name five Chinese soups. Yeah, name five Chinese. Uh, exactly. Uh, name three. The Bo Yang Dong. Not even one. How about <laughs> hot pot, bro? I'll, ha- I'll help him. Hot pot. Egg drop. Shark fin. Sweet and sour. Beef noodle. Sign. Those are all takeout. Yeah, kind of bad. That's soups. Chinese takeout. Okay, Not give, give us. Give okay, us. Okay, okay. Give beef, us. Like beef noodle soup. Yeah, you're right. Actually, what is an authentic? <laughs> Like, like, okay, <laughs> exactly. For instance, you guys never even had okay, it. Okay, like, the right. be- like a beef noodle soup, right? And There's not that pop. doesn't even touch a, okay, a Singaporean that's, soup. That's bare. That's like a Taiwan soup. I don't claim a Taiwan. <laughs> soup. <laughs> oh, damn. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Okay, well, give me a soup. Put me onto a soup. What's a soup? Well, does uh, hot pot count? What, what hot difference would it make? You can't taste it. I could, I could hot see pot, the Google yeah. images and know. Hot pot bare. You don't like hot pot. Hot pot's good. Hot pot's good. But. The hot pot is the one <laughs> like I got it. Yeah. No, 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 it's like I have to make the soup Korean to make it taste good. No, 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 with Korean soups, this is how I feel. You had one, you had them all. <gasps> oh, <laughs> no. You had one, you had them oh, that's all. Crazy. Wait. They're spicy. That's no. That's how, how about the... salong tang? It's spicy. Uh, I like it. Can, can I ask? Can I say this then? Okay, I, 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 let me just don't, let me just rebuttal that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why is it that the Korean restaurants are filled with Chinese people? Why don't y'all get Chinese Whoa. soup then? Because uh, uh, so many Korean soups inspired by China. Inspired oh by Chinese. What? what? That makes no but sense. Then, but then with Korean people, they're, they're like, we will make it spicy. Why are the Korean restaurants <laughs> filled with 90% Chinese? Uh, if there's tons of SGV restaurants, <laughs> where see spin? yourself out of some then. You know what I mean? The, your spin on Chinese soups is, we're going to make it spicy. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait! I'm just, I'm just saying. Agree with anything that you're saying, but I love it. I Look, love everything. I know. I'm just curious if, like, why is it that they're filled with a Chinese customer base? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. If why, why, why? We have they... nothing. We yeah. have nothing. You guys have Koreatown. I y'all got SGV. <laughs> okay, that's true. But I'm not driving out there. That's too far. So you're saying it's just because it's convenient yeah, that they just, have to go to Koreatown? <laughs> yes. And I come here and I'm like, hey, make it not spicy. <laughs> I, you I, telling me every Chinese person in a Korean restaurant is like, I hate this. Yeah, they hate it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. They're, eat, they're just being like, I'll have it not spicy, please. <laughs> from, what I, from what I've seen is that there's a lot of Chinese, young Chinese people that are preferring <laughs> Korean soups over Chinese. Mm. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Okay, first of all, you're not very up to date with Korean culture because <laughs> he oh, just the, hottest, the, I just hottest, got... the hottest thing that girls like to go get is malatang. Mm. Malatang is trash. Chinese. Oh. Yeah. I yeah, don't like no, it. but it's I... like every girl, they're always like, oh, should I we get malatang? <laughs> that's that's here, what it is. Here's even more of a controversial thing is that I don't like Chinese spicy. Oh, are you going to say people? <laughs> 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 I, was I don't like, like, like no no I, no no I don't like Chinese I, lo- I love people. Chinese people <laughs> right, right, right. I love Chinese people do you I've, I uh, this equipment is ordered from Timu right here this is all Timu equipment all right. that's why we have technical difficulties all the time um, no what I mean is the spicy the, you know the what is it the peppercorn uh, the pepper that numbs your whole I'm not a fan yeah, of that spicy numbing? I don't like that yeah. spicy okay but who, but hold on who agrees mm. with me in here that Dum doesn't have a good palate. <laughs> oh wait I like your palate I got a good palate oh, yeah, We thank have similar you. taste oh, Thank you Stephanie. Okay now Steffi is saying She doesn't have good palate as well. <laughs> She's just out of this She's just out of yes. this For the record I want everyone in the world to know That in our group chats Everyone knows Dumb is, is shit taste Alright Everyone knows okay, Thank you everyone I think thank I am you. the only Korean here That's been to China mm, What? I've been to China, I've been to China. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, let me tell you where I went. I went to Xi'an, uh-huh. Chengdu. Mm-hmm. I went to Shanghai. Mm-hmm. 
And like one more spot. Make it up. <laughs> Beijing. <laughs> Beijing. Maybe it was Beijing. Yeah. But I, I actually saw the terracotta soldiers in person. So at every, oh. every city you went there, you went... <laughs> <laughs> not for me yeah I don't like <laughs> I'm just overall I'm not a fan of the food mm. and I know the they food? got food you just went from even more controversial to... statement Dude, that's crazy all of the food let me say one controversial statement controversial <laughs> dim sum overrated oh yeah <gasps> Wow. Dim sum yeah, a little crazy, overrated. Bro. It's that's a little too much. overrated. You're crazy. Now you're going too Dim crazy. Dim sum is a little overrated. That's too crazy. much. You, know? you think that's crazy? Yeah. That is okay. really crazy. Am I going to get stuff shit for that? I'm with you. Uh, thank what? you. I'm with what? you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I'm okay. with you. Honestly, yeah, I don't have any association to this pod. <laughs> no, I don't. That's crazy. <laughs> you're Am I going to get canceled okay. for that? Maybe. No, man. Whatever. No. People like it. Some people don't. You know? I think it's because it's a girl. Maybe it's more for girls. What? Dim sum? Because it's so small. It's so small? I knew that that was your issue. Then, why, why are all the old Chinese guys there with the newspaper because, for hours? Because when you get older, you become kind of womanly. Woman. No, no, no. Yeah. no I, don't, I don't think that's it. That's not. I don't care. I don't think it's too small. It's no, it's just, it's just mid to me. Honestly. I, I do te- think it's yeah. mid. I okay, think you- a lot of the dim sum tastes very similar to each other. Yeah. So you're like, why is there 50, order, 50 things of dim sum? Your palate is not refined enough to taste the subtle flavors. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cause you know what, both of your palates are numbed by spice. I think See? I think that might be the. Reason. That's a good point. <laughs> I, that that. I don't know. And I love I love yo. When we went to go get dim sum, it wasn't even the best spot. Yeah. But like that shit was so fucking. Yo, good. maybe yummy. that's what it is. I went to a few trash dim sum spots and it just ruined it for me. It but even a me. mid one is not I bad. think you know what it is? You guys don't leave K-Town ever. And you're not <laughs> That's what if you left and went to SGV, okay, you could have just, the best Chinese food, Taiwanese. I just got back Taiwanese from New York. Food. Wait, don't look at me cuz I loved it. I okay, love so yeah. these guys aren't going out of K-Town. Yo, anybody that heard my claim about not liking dim sum, if you want to change my mind, I invite you, bro. You know what I mean? Let me know. Tell Ooh, me where to go. I can change your mind. I know no, a spot. My my uh, thing is that it's not I like that I I don't it's not that I don't like it. I just don't think it's this extraordinary thing. You know, I don't what I'm think saying? it requires a cart with a lady with all these different dishes making it like Why theatric. Not? Okay. Why not? Because you open it up, you're like, that's what you're doing? You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, <laughs> Okay. I feel like maybe you guys had the wrong leaders, you know, mm. the wrong Sherpas yeah. to guide you. didn't like, I went to Din Tai Fung one, the first time. I didn't order correctly. I didn't like it. Mm. And then I went with Ronnie and Hannah. Um, they guided me through. It was amazing. Can you yeah. name one mid? That's so uh, true. Name a name a you Korean need- food that you think is kind of whack or mid. <sighs> <laughs> the wrapped pork. Posam. Yes, because it's what is on it. There's nothing on it. Posam. There's no seasoning. It is a deconstructed. <laughs> Don't is, say I mean, wack, No, I like posam. No, no, I like but posam. I see why because <laughs> posam so is kind of the the part of like the cabbage being like. You know, steamed is a little bit kind of boring. I could see that. Well, I just don't like how the pork is not seasoned. But That's do, the did whole you put point. the king- it comes with the seasoning? Wait, did you? Stuff who did you go with? Did you go with Koreans or? Chinese I went with people. Jessica Gagal. See, okay, so so you have <laughs> so all of us, I think, need to go with like a you said, very deeply Chinese Post- or Korean, Korean, Korean person. person. Whack is crazy yeah. to me too. That, no, that Andre, one's a crazy you just, one. You just didn't have the right man to roll it for you, Shorty. Exactly. Yeah, so that, I feel that, like that, yours so, would have been better. Do you want Rick's thumbs in your mouth? <laughs> 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 I'm like, what, does, wait, why on, do you dude. serve it with your thumb too? I don't understand that. <laughs> That's the thumb that comes first. Before <laughs> <Yeah>. the... <laughs> it's a palate cleanser. Here's a thumb. <laughs> Shoot, it's part of bro. it. I'm Korean. Shh, sh- 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 <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Eat it. <laughs> Oh wait, okay, wait. Do we have Merboy Tears on? The- <laughs> <laughs> He's been on the whole time. Uh, all right, let's go. Merboy Tears. Let's Bye. let's talk. You guys wouldn't suck Rick's thumb. <laughs> Come on, man. Merboy. Merboy's on. He's a father. What's up? What's Hi. up? Hi. What's Long up? time no chat. Long time no chat. How are you, we man? We miss you. Uh, first off, I want to say congrats, Rick. Aiden is so cute. I love watching all the Insta stories. He looks just like you. I'm getting the sick story of it. <laughs> where you went to Virginia with your parents. Thank you. I totally Thank cried. You. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. Caden, by the way. Yeah, I said Aiden. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all um, good. Don't forget that Korean. Dom there, also you know I mean? <laughs> loved you on Quiz Lady. You were so funny. Oh, oh my God. Thank like, you. I just love watching you guys succeed. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah, good job on that one. Yeah, you actually bodied that. Mm, we rewound funny. that part like four times. Me and Donna were like, he's good. Bro. I love the compliments, but I love how everyone's like, bro, 
this is the best thing you've done because everything else was trash. <laughs> no, just the believability was there, you know. Okay. No, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, Murboy has been following us for a long time, right? When did you, what would you say you've been listening since? Uh, I started listening during the pandemic because I was always a fan. And then, like, you know, we had time off from work. So I was like able to catch up and, you know, watch everything. That's when I became like so, you know, involved and just loving it and watching it every week. And I still love it. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. We thought you lost hope because you haven't called in, but I guess we haven't been taking calls. Um, <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember it happened. Oh, someone said Bibimbap is mid, which yeah. I might agree, I with, agree that with that one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. might yeah. agree with that one, but I know oh. Rex has got something to say because he eats Bibimbap like every day. Also, ma- like Bibimbap. Korean dumplings, I don't like. Wow. Yo, <laughs> Actually, no. I agree. Mm. I prefer Chinese dumplings. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? I, I don't think Korean dumplings are like phenomenal, but I don't think Chinese dumplings are any better. Whoa. I think Chinese dumplings oh, might be a little better I than agree. Korean. I think so. Yeah, I think so. That. But then the thing is, Koreans we have multiple diff- we have different styles of uh, dumplings. I yeah, think yeah. Chinese people. I didn't say they did it. I'm just saying, like mm-hmm. some versions of Chinese dumplings is better than like more than pan fried. I like the watery one. You know the one that's in your mouth. You guys just don't. <laughs> yeah. you, guys, you just don't like dumplings. Yeah, maybe you I like don't. dumplings. <laughs> but once you had a dumpling, you've had them all. Yeah, yeah Remember during dumpling. the pandemic, pandemic, you thought about making dumb dumplings? Yes, I did. As a thing. That never went to fruition. <laughs> but what was your that twist? That was my top secret project. <laughs> it was Thank his you. Top secret project. Once <laughs> 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 he was going to make dumb plings. You can erase plings. it off the board now. Well, yeah. yeah. how did you make it yours? Like, what was your twist? Yeah, what would you put in it? Fucking That's it up. my little secret. <laughs> <laughs> I just got sick of all these mid dumplings. I was like, I'm coming here with a twist. <laughs> yeah, prizes inside oh the God. dumpling. Your little toenails. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> 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 um, Yo, can I just say something about bibimbap? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yo, bibimbap is amazing, especially if you make it by yourself because you can add what you like, and right. also. It's for people. I mean, you gotta be a little bit older. You have you have to let, enjoy vegetables. Mm-hmm. Is it originally? I think a kitchen like sink food. It's like everything that's left over you put into it. So all your panchans that were gonna go bad, that's what you put into your rice and you mix it, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I think no, you're right. I think that's the history. A lot of Korean right. food comes from necessity. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like ferment fermentation because we didn't have spices, so we had to like use time to cook you know so a lot mm. of a lot of the stuff that we love now yeah pee pee pop i gotta right. say i gotta say another controversial statement talk to me <laughs> i like chinese american food better than chinese what food <laughs> wow. i'm sorry what the i'm fuck? sorry you know what, you know what? keep I'm it going i'm what sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm what do you think about filipinos <laughs> i love filipino oh, no. food. filipinos are the best <laughs> filipino got filipinos good food. are the best but yes. i think it's because what about japan dude Come on. Oh, Japan might be... Japanese food is very good. One of the top-notch foods. Yes. It's, it's cool. amazing. Yeah. It's, it's really amazing. Food. Wow, we're all agreeing with Whoa. Japanese food. I, you know, I'll tell you something about Chinese food, too. What? Uh, it sounds like... What? Just, I got a personal event. What? I swear I don't. What? It comes out too quick. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this complaint? It comes out what? too quick. What is this complaint? So I don't understand. Food <laughs> comes out a little too quick. <laughs> What does that mean? Soon as I'm finishing the last, <laughs> or, trust this guy. I'm ordering the last dish. Yeah, they already got it's it already, out. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. How did you premeditate hey, my they're order? They're efficient Walk, and they're good run. at ju- their <laughs> exactly. job. I just want give me just a few, like give me two minutes and then bring it out. You know, what yeah. I mean, it's a little too quick. It feels pre-made. It's a little I mean? too quick. You know what I mean? Because you're eating Chinese American food. Have it like you know the. SGV one. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, we gotta go. Um, we love Chinese food here. You at went the fun to the Hawaii. What? Uh, <laughs> what? You also don't like Hawaiian food. <gasps> what? I like okay. <laughs> what you is going? So you only like Korean food? That's no, what no, you no, want to no, say. No, no, I love. No, Mex- he likes Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Oh, you love? Yeah. No, no. Oh. You like Mariella's? There's one restaurant that no, he no, goes no, no. to in Koreatown. I love Mexican food. Um, I will say that I product of LA. I like poke. There's a it's lot. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, you kind of poke. <laughs> no, poke is good. It's just, you know, there's there's tons of Korean foods I don't like either. Yeah. What name what? Some? Yeah. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> You're in trouble, uh, I do bro. Think bibimbap is a little mid. You know, okay. it's good okay, though. It's right. good. It's not bad. 
I just think the f- the flavors of of certain um, certain spices don't mix with me. You know, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I can't save you here, bro. This is all you, uh, yeah, baby. Nah, nah, we're, we're gonna edit that part out. Uh, <laughs> I don't think. No, it's good. I'm lie, just... but only y'all. <laughs> Do you just don't like spices? You just don't like. Spices? No, I'm a spice guy. He's a spice oh. guy. Yeah. He likes hot Cheetos. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the type of spice. Famous that's, spice. That, that's an LA. Cheeto. That's an LA spiced taste. Tahine. <laughs> Tahine. Yeah. You're yeah. just LA. You're just very LA. Duh. I see. Yeah. So someone, <laughs> yeah. Someone said I don't cook. So, do you think I need to cook to have a good palate? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good yeah, because you gotta like put ingredients in your mouth and like, mm, and then think about it. Mm. You know, like ratatouille. Here's the thing. <laughs> I <laughs> could I say something? I think because rat boy. Can I say something? <laughs> I think because I have the least experience trying foods makes me the most experienced. Shut no, up. No, 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 no. Shut no, up. No, 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 no. Let, me, let me explain it. Yo, no. this guy tried Mediterranean no, no, no. for the first no. time. Let, let me explain it. You're spinning things right no, now. No, You're because spin- my, my tongue is pure. Like, it's pure. This is the natural. Oh, it, no. It's a good take. It's not, I don't. I don't that's think. An outtake? I don't think when you go to chef school, they're like, oh, like culinary school. I know it's called culinary school, but like you go and they're like, don't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, keep no, it pure. Keep pure. <laughs> Protect your tongue. I'm like keep an alien. <laughs> I'm an alien who came to this this earth for the first time. I and get tried it. So you're something. saying you, you say you have an objective. Yeah, I, taste buds. exactly. It's pure, <laughs> but it's not pure. You eat eat food. You Call your tongue food. pure one more time on this live stream. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. leaving. I know. No, I, no. I'm like a baby who just got born <laughs> into this world. You okay. know what I mean? Are virgins so, the best at fucking? Or <laughs> that's you a know good what point. I mean? That's a good point. Holy yes, yeah. babies don't have good taste buds. I would assume you're not gonna make yeah, a little baby every, a chef. Everything's spicy to them. They're like, oh. Hey guys, <laughs> is it possible to do a poll right now? No, right? Let's just have a uh, comment. Yeah. Chinese okay, wait, okay. food versus Korean food. Which one's better? Be honest. I see oh, all your good, usernames. That's a good poll. Yeah, and I will find I you. I mean, but we are on like a Korean podcast. <laughs> no, no, it's not a Korean nah. podcast. It's, it's all Asian and I'm all very, non hey, I'm very outnumbered here. I'm very outnumbered here. You're doing a good job for your kind, though. Because I'm yelling. <laughs> you're you're, 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 you are doing a really good yeah. job. I got your back, dude. I think yeah. I'm on your side more. <laughs> Like Merboy isn't even Chinese or Korean, right? Mm. What is he? He's his own person. Merboy, you're on there. He's Look, pure, there's Chinese people. Okay. There's more. He's pure you moon water. Chinese are Korean. What? Are, what? What are you? No, what what no, ethnicity he, were you again, wh- Merboy? He's white, aren't white. you? Yeah. I'm sorry, you broke up a little bit. What'd you say? What's your ethnicity again? You're white, right? Uh, I'm yeah, I'm white and Mexican. White and Mexican. I okay. Why'd cool. you add no? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a <laughs> no, just no. All right, let's see the poll. It looks like more Chinese, actually. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Okay, they didn't start yet. Oh. Thank you, chat. Well, let's start the poll. We're gonna put the poll in the chat. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I guess Korean Ignore Americans no. don't have anything to learn Why'd from us. Add, no. <laughs> I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't take it off. <laughs> oh, look at this poll. Whoa, it's, it's live going right crazy. now. Too. It's going live. Click on it right now. <gasps> Thank got you, chat. Fifty percent, fifty-two percent Korean, Whoa. Chinese. Coming up, forty-four percent. Coming up. It's co- actually pretty close. Yeah, Ooh. they're lying. Someone <laughs> messed it up with a no. No one needs to choose a cho- choose one side. I mean, guys, it's uh, pretty clear to see. Mm? No, it, no, it's oh. not. No, it's not. I have to do it for the. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's neck and neck. It's cu- it's quite it? close. I but also, I, some people that is so Chinese. true that Korean food is more expensive than Chinese food a lot of times. Is yeah, it? I think so. Yeah. I think it's it is very expensive. I mean, those you know luxury taste but ta- uh, <laughs> recipe uh, ingredients. Shotty with the bangs, though. <laughs> 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 That's he's it. About, he's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we just end? I want to end this conversation yeah. saying yeah. we got love for Chinese food. We still eat Chinese. Absolutely, food. I'm dude. just kind of saying. You just, John? Don't, you just don't like Chinese people. You know what? It's no, true. Okay, what the hell? No, that's not what I said. That's what you're saying. No, no, I we, love Chinese we food. We haven't we actually t- had, <laughs> we've never had Chinese food together, I feel like, except Jajangmyeon. Should we do Chinese after this? Go to, you want to go get Chinese food after Yeah, you need to yeah, show I already us. set up a Korean barbecue spot, bro. Oh, you did. Our people, bro. All right, really? Yeah, all right. I do like Korean barbecue. <laughs> Very good. 
<laughs> yeah, you guys don't have like a Chinese. We barbecue, don't have.、Huh? We have like Mongolian stuff, but <laughs> like the skewers. Yeah. Oh, actually, I love the skewers. Yeah, I love cumin. Feng Mao.、Mm. I love cumin. I love cumin. <laughs> Do you like cumin? Yeah, I'm not I, a huge. I gotta say, we are, when I used to live in New York, yeah, I used to eat so much Chinese food. Yeah, like every, oh, I don't like. like oh yeah, no, New York is more bad. Chinese, right? Yeah,、Whoa. but no, but the Chinese food in New York. Do you think that's what it is? No, are you kidding? California doesn't have good. Chinese food. It's way better here. Yeah, you're tripping. Wait,、dude. you think? No, 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 no. no you're no, no. tripping. No, 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 no. Now it's getting、right. spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's getting spicy. I don't know where you've been eating that. Well, Mer Boy,、uh, you want to say anything before we move on to the next caller? <laughs> I just want to say, have a great one. Happy 300, and Steph, you look beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you're man. Sweet. Cantonese barbecue. Never heard of it. Wow. Yeah, what the fuck is Cantonese barbecue? Let's go to Novagon. <laughs> By the way, I love Cantonese barbecue. What? <laughs> He's just、Shut、saying、up. things. That's not. I don't think that. Shut、exi- your pure ass tongue up, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've never tasted that. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Novagon. Novagon. Yo, what's up, Alex? What's Yo. up? Yo.、Uh, Novagon. Holy crap! Long time, yeah, man. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Yo, what's up, y'all? What's, what's up, up baby? Here,、uh, Rick. Hi, Andrea. Hello, Steffi. Good、Hi. to see everybody. Holy, this is this is um. It's kind of hard to hear y'all. I'm not gonna lie.、Mm, well, that's not our、Fuck. problem. Resume, <laughs> not <man> . kidding. <laughs>、uh, what's up, man? We wanna say something? Oh yeah, I just I just wanna say like, yo, this is like super nostalgic for me. Like,、uh, I've been a day one fan from like the Jimmy O Yang days for real, and the podcast definitely helped me out during the pandemic, like really significantly. I remember there was like this stint where y'all were talking about like fixing up relationship with your families and kind of like going through and fix and like healing from past traumas. And、mm-hmm. I did take a lot of that stuff to heart. And like I did do a lot of work to like help build relationship. Or what, yo? I just I literally、like、and, I felt yeah, the chill like, from the bottom of my neck、oh, to my ass right now.、So nice. Right when you said that, like get specific. What did you do? What 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 did you band aid? Um, honestly. It was just me, kind of, like it's specifically just accepting that they did the best they could, they could.、Mm. kind of just. Oh my god! Leaving it at that, you know. That's amazing. Yo, that's I mean, huge, man. I think about like, the things that they had to overcome and think about what they had to do, and yeah, it's it wasn't perfect for me, but it was definitely good enough. Like I never had to worry about a roof over my head, food in my stomach, clothes on my back, you know. What else? <laughs> no, that's amazing, that's、awesome. man. That's no, really I, dope. I, I lived a pretty good life, and、um, you know, and it, yeah. Like, I don't think I would have started this journey if y'all didn't have those conversations and a lot of the conversations you had、uh, during the podcast. You know,、uh, wow. so I just want to say, like, thank you for that. And I specifically have this one memory of、uh, the first time I got on the podcast. I was just super nervous. I was super scared. I started talking about like, oh yeah, you know, I break and I do all these other things. And Rec called me like four elements. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. About, the like, four elements of hip hop. Yeah, every element of hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do miss so, sassing、yeah. all the callers. Yeah, say, you know, thank you for that. Y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all shout out to you, man. Absolutely amazing. And I do remember like that twenty-four hour subathon that、uh, Rick had. <laughs> Yeah, there was that moment we started singing. Everybody got on the Discord call and had our video cameras <laughs> on. It, I forget the song. I think it was like Chop Suey or something. <laughs> we just started going crazy. Yeah, that was, was nuts, good man. Good times, like really good times.、Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for、uh, reminiscing with us and going down memory lane. Three hundred episodes. Thanks for calling. Good luck、brother. with everything. Thank you, Nova. Bye. Thank you. Let's talk to Sayok five thirty one. What's up? Be nicer. Hey Sayok. Hey Sayok. Hey Sayok five thirty one. What's up, man? Sorry, our connection is bad. Yeah,、I'm、what's, sorry, what's your、oh, connection?、No. Yeah, I can hear you guys now. Oh, okay, there you go. This is a good minority report.、I、I'm gonna give、really、you、figure. a sentence to say right now. This is the 300th episode of the best podcast in the world. What was the last word? The best podcast in the world. Okay,、uh, this is the 300th episode of the best podcast in the world. Ooh, this one's a hard one. China, black. China. <laughs> black. You said black. I say black. I say the way she said world was mad hip hop. <laughs> I I might say well, Latina. Okay. Yeah. China.、Uh, go with them. China. How about you?、Steph? Wait, can ch- did you guys guess?、Um, yes. I'm gonna say Chinese. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Reveal yourself. 
I'm Korean. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> that was my first thought. That was my first thought. Yeah. Then why'd you say that then? <laughs> I don't what are you know. talking about? You're all, you're all blind to your own. Thought, Damn, we don't yeah. even know our own kind. You're blind to no, your own. No, I feel like she's, she's a little bit of an artsy one, you know? Like she's are an artsy, artsy Korean. I, I feel what like she you, got... What did you study in school? I really like um, hip-hop, so... <laughs> I kind I kind of understood why you said black, but <laughs> <laughs> Damn. nah nah nah. Yo, nah, hold nah. on, hold on. Is nah. your name is your is your name Hill? Oh no, my name Christina. Got you. <laughs> I thought I thought I thought, it, I thought it was Hill. She, but I didn't get I didn't necessarily Chris, get like a hip hop. You know, <laughs> it's Chris. Yeah, twang. I didn't get like a hip hop twang to it or nothing from it her. Also connect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What kind of what kind of Korean is she? Like, what I just are, thought what are her she had like a pencil case filled with like color pencils or something. You know, like what? she knows she knows how to sketch really well. Uh, Christina, yeah. where are you calling like, from? Uh, I'm from New York. Oh, that's what it is, then. There's it's a little, New York. Yeah, it's a little New York. You know? It's Queens. Little, yeah, You're yeah, giving wait, me what part of, who... what part of Wait, hold on. Let's guess to what part of New York. I already know where she's at. She's in Elmhurst or Woodside, Queens. Yes, I oh, agree. Oh, gosh. Where are you from? Uh, I'm actually... I was born in Flushing. I was mm. going to say Flushing. Yeah. Are you, wow. um, was are you a good dancer? You seem like a good dancer. Sorry, sir? Are you, you, are you, you do a sound good like dan- a good dancer. A are good you, dancer. Oh, uh, I'm more into rapping. Oh, and, whoa! Uh, making music, yeah. I mean, battle Steffi right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Would it be crazy to ask for a couple bars for a 300th episode in front of Sir Dumbfounded? Okay, sure. I love that. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. All right. What's your on. MC name? What's your rap name? Uh, my stage name. I I don't know if that's what you're asking. Yeah. But my stage name is Cherry Pizza, and the seconds. Z is a seven. Cherry uh, pizza. Okay. okay, I already like where this is going. <laughs> no, I love it. I'm excited. Uh, and it's because um, I really liked Tyler, the creator, growing up. Mm. And it just just stuck stuck with that. How old and are you? I'm 26. Okay, mm. okay. Wait, so you heard Cherry Bomb and you like pizza and you put Cherry Pizza together? <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I kind of love the name. Cherry Pizza is cool. It's good. All right, let's go. Let's hear it, Cherry Pizza. All right. <clears throat> Someone give me a beat. <laughs> really? Rick. But it's not going to be... It's, 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 it's going to be a acapella. delay. So I think you might okay. just do it without a beat. Just do an acapella. All right. Okay, here it is. Let's go. Some people call me Kanye. I don't want to be like Kanye. I want to be myself. But I hear it in the tracks. When I keep walking, I hear it in my voice. And I wish people would tell me I'm black, but you know, that's just how it goes. And this is my first bar. <laughs> I been spinning from the road. I keep going. I'm not a toad. Mm. Feet keep moving and you got to keep going. Uh, yeah. So What's wrong it. with being a toad? <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. The first two bars were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally said, some people call me Kanye, but I don't <laughs> want to be Kanye. <laughs> I want to be myself. <laughs> that was the most confusing start to a rap I've ever heard in my life. And it's, she didn't rhyme for like 15 seconds. <laughs> she, just, dude, she doesn't need to. You know, yeah. you don't need to. That's what's different. I kind of, I feel like she's me. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's me from a different yeah. timeline. <laughs> wow. That's what I would be like if I was a rapper. I honestly, is this, pre- like re- <laughs> is this pre-recorded Andrea Jin right I now? I think it's, I think it's me. It, first of <laughs> Andrea, all, I feel you. I hear you. It's, it sounds like <laughs> Andrea Jin that. and then Bars Ghost written by Steffi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I, I've said those bars yeah, before. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yo, Christina, if it means anything, man, much respect for you jumping in and just doing that, though. That was yeah, amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. Seriously, yeah. better than Keep 80% going. of these people. <laughs> but thank you for listening, and um, I'm here to congratulate you guys for your 300th episode. Um, I listen every week, so uh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks for calling. And you know what? Though. I would eat a cherry pizza. Doesn't it, that sound tasty? That doesn't sound good. Actually, it does sound good. It sounds <laughs> terrible. No, it sounds delicious. <laughs> this is the food takes from Bake right here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Philip Swanson. Moving on to Philip. You're on the air. Hello. What's up, Phil? Hello. What's up, guys? Happy 300. Hi. Thank you. Uh, I was trying to see if I can get a minority report to start off. White. 
<laughs> I would say, I, okay, this is tricky. This is like white or it's black. My, yeah, white yeah, or yeah. black is my guess. Okay, do a line or tell him to say something. Mm. Okay, say. Um, Sound Latino to me. Yo, uh, like say, um, hey, I'm just checking the microphone. <laughs> hey, I'm just checking the microphone. Oh, yeah, okay, no, black mm. to me. I don't know. I don't know. He sounds. But it sounds, yeah, it could be like. Arab. S- Whoa! I it's the Swanson that's throwing. The me. Swanson's little throwing on. Swanson. Oh, you, can't use a, you can't use a name. Yeah, that no. could be anybody's name. Oh, that's you know? not my government, by the way. It's an alias. Yeah, mm. <clears throat> I'm still that's f- already weird of you too. Hispanic mm, or Swanson or has an alias. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. see. I'm gonna say black. I'm gonna say yeah, black me too. too. Me too. Yeah. Me too. How about you? White. Okay. Reveal I'll- yourself, Philip. I'm Mexican. Whoa! Oh, you know what? What? I should have. You know what? I I did feel that too, did you? but the Swanson threw me way. <laughs> I was like, Swanson? Philip Philip Swanson. That name wants to close the borders. You know what I mean, Philip Swanson? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what? Can you explain where the Swanson comes from? Swanson, uh, just my favorite character from Parks and Rec, Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. Oh, Ron Swanson. Oh, I, I love see. Ron, I see. Ron Swanson. Yeah, he's funny. And then uh, Philip is just my name in English. My Mexican name is Felipe. There we go. Felipe. What's up, man? What's up? Where are you calling from, brother? Uh, I'm calling from Oklahoma, but I'm originally from the IE. Mm. Okay. It's the IE, huh? Mm-hmm. Is that Emer- what, What's IE? Inland, Inland Empire. 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 What's that? <laughs> it's like Riverside. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, Simon Rancho. Ardino. It's like two, an hour. I thought it was yeah. Internet Explorer, bro. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's up, man? You been listening to the pod? You been you been you been a fan of the pod for a while, Philip? Uh, yeah, I started listening during COVID. Oh, nice! So when it started getting good, yeah, uh, I just got a question for you guys. I don't know if it's advice or something, but I'm about to turn thirty, and then older people older people call me young, younger people call me old. Uh, is there something you guys still do that you feel like you're too old to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's literally yeah, everything just, we do every day yeah. <laughs> this no, I'm yeah, no, seriously. No, I'm um i've learned to embrace kind of the immature attitude towards stuff because when people call me old in comments or something it makes me want to like double down yeah I want to troll that back. That is the most childish thing you could be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is true. But it it's also true. the most like old head thing to do too. Yeah. It is stubborn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's stubborn. I mean, okay, fuck y'all. All right. I get it. I get it. But I mean, you gotta you gotta be comfortable with who you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm getting old and I'm starting to feel like an old head and I'm doing old head things, like why not? I feel like it's the most comfortable place to be. Mm. I'm not trying too hard to be anything else. You well, know? he asked about childish things. Is there anything Something that I still childish. do? That is like childish that you think. Like throw a tantrum? <laughs> uh, I, like... I, I, mean, I mean, me being petty, I think is childish. Mm. <clears throat> Wouldn't you say that's childish? I'm always talking about like my list of petty beefs that I have. I think that's a very childish thing to have. Mm. Can, you, I think... can you share the list? Uh, I mean, you know, I've talked about it. All yeah, the he pod. sprinkled it here. And there I've sprinkled it on. You know, six years. Straight. It's the guy who's hit me with the no can do. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, yucky sauce. There's so many things. There's um, <laughs> there was a guy back in 2002. <laughs> oh yeah, who said I'd never make it. Um, <laughs> who is he? <laughs> That was like 30, 20 years. He was semi right, actually. Uh, and then there was. pulled you from a tree or something? What happened? Oh, there was a guy who sh- 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 shook the monkey bars when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I got a stitch because of it. Yeah. Right oh. here. Yeah. Oh. I, I, a stitch? A sti- I mean, I went to the hospital. Yeah, he yeah. shook it. I remember I fell. And I saw him in 2004 at a karaoke. He was the manager. Yeah. I was like, I didn't forget. <laughs> what did, if he was listening right now, what would you say to him? Uh, well, the monkey bars, I forget. I forgave. I didn't forgive No Can Do. I didn't forget the guy who said I'll never make it. Mm. Um, and I have like two more, but I can't think of it right now. Yeah. Yeah. I got a list. Yeah. Full list names, addresses. You know, there was this one, there was this one guy who, um, I was at a party. I was like drunk. I was like blacked out and he punched me, socked me in the face. Wait, what? Yeah. No. Well, first he was like, run your pockets, but I thought I was drunk and Everyone kind of knows each other. So I was yeah. like, oh, what up, what up? He's like, run your pockets. I was like, what? So I, I shoved him. I was like, get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah. I turn around, and then he and then he spins me back around and just knocks me. 
Oh my and then god! Broke my jaw. Whoa! And then after that, I had like so much pain. Yeah. For Ooh. like so long. Through the wire. Through the wire. And then <clears throat> I was just yo in my head. I was like, I'm gonna kill this kill guy. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. literally, yeah. I'm gonna wow. get him killed. But <laughs> like now, I don't. Fuck it. Time heals, man. Yeah. Time does heal everything. I don't. I can't hold a grudge. You, like just let go, bro. Oh. My beefs are not even that serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> someone, just some someone just told him he wasn't gonna make it. I, I think a lot of <laughs> <laughs> I'm beefing with gonna the make it. I, yeah. I have I have beefs for my parents, like mm. people that like disrespected, lo- disrespected them. I have beef with them. Yeah, yes. You know what I mean? No, they course. don't even remember. <laughs> they yeah, don't even yeah, remember yeah. the person. Yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? You just got you just hold on to these things. It's okay. Philip, what do you think you're doing in this life right now that you th- you think is childish? Why why did you ask that? It's probably that I'm not doing much. Mm. You're still looking I for it, man. I just my job and hang out still. Well, what do you work at? What do you do? Uh, I work with a with a Mexican band. I'm on the road a lot. A Mexican so band? I'm home, all the regular homies working the regular 9 to 5. Right. I guess I just feel left out. You know, you know what's crazy though like Nowadays, you know, there's so much like social media. Everyone's kind of looking at each other's lives. It's like so easy to start comparing and thinking like, oh, this is the life I should be living or whatever. Like, like, yo, you should like just look around and see like what you can appreciate. And, you know, it's it's all good. No, what Rec just said is so true, mm-hmm. because ever since I had a kid, like, you know, I still post stuff on social media, but I don't have the I don't really have the time or like the energy to check. And once you don't. None of that really matters, man. Like once, like you take a week away from it, you step away. It's like really living without caring what other people think or the opinion about you. I know that's such a cliche thing to say, but you have to you have to understand. Like the grass is greener on the other side. People who have nine to five jobs look at your life and be like, "Damn, he's touring. Oh, for sure, he's traveling. He's living life like this." While on your side, you're like, "Man, maybe I wanted a little more consistency or blah blah blah." But you know, do you, bro? Thirty still young. Yeah. you know I'm, yeah. yeah and and whatever you're doing okay so the childish thing whatever yo just like reflect and if it's holding you back from you know like growing or it's like costing you too much money that might be the reason why you should stop doing it but like what like we still play video games and like watch anime I don't shit. I hate that shit mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Jesus older Christ. people who are doing the most childish things are the happiest yeah, Would you they're say the that most interesting. They're the more fun. interesting. It yeah. doesn't matter. Like, who's to say what's childish, who what's yeah. grown? Like, just do whatever makes you happy. You know. Yeah, maybe yeah. petty beefs yeah. aren't childish. Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. I I I don't do petty beefs. I hate that shit. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but you play like League of Legends, so <laughs> grass is greener. <laughs> We're all old boys here. Huh? We are all old boys here. Yeah. So you know. Well, thanks for calling in, Philip. Appreciate you, buddy. All right, thanks, guys. Good luck. Catch you guys later. Thank Bye. you. We can tackle this whole episode. Of me. <laughs> I like how we're talking about like being acting grown or whatever, and it sounds like you need to do an episode with stupid young. <laughs> 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 Shout out, stupid young. Addicted to snacks. You're muted. Hello. Mute. There you go. Oh, there. Hey. 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 What's up, snacks? What's up? Hi. Top Hi. three snacks. What are you snacking on? What do I snack on? Yes. <laughs> I like Lots of things. Uh, yeah, give us her top three. Yeah. She sounds like a snacker, doesn't she? Top three. <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, I like the Okamja chips. Korean. Wow, that Korean. Korean. <laughs> that was the most Korean. I like Kamja the Okamja chip. chips. <laughs> <laughs> that was so Korean. Actually, um, I'm a longtime watcher. I've actually been on the show once before for Minority Report. Mm. But this time, my husband's in the room, and we wanted to see if he would be able to do a minority report on him. White. White. <laughs> white. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. in my mind, I was wow. like, white. Wow. White. Wow. That's so funny. White guy. No, no. Okay, let's do the sentence. Let's do the sentence. Well, let's hear him talk. <laughs> the sentence is going to be... <laughs> say kamja chips. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say my favorite snack is kamja chips. <laughs> oh, hey, y'all. Oh. <laughs> wait, so wait, what? Say, don't say, be racist yeah. now. Say, uh, my favorite snack is kamja chips. Your favorite snack is kamja chips. Oh, kamja. Oh, wait, is he, oh, f- he, he, he forcing it? Is he f- making He's that up? Forcing it. He's like, wait, wait, can I hear it one more time? Can I hear it one more time? 
your favorite chip is Kamda chips. Mm, That's not. It sounds Filipino. like a, yeah, one of those that's like Australian Asian. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's wow. is that Malay? I don't know. I don't he sounds know. good looking though. It does sound like kind of. I, I'm thinking a little bit Come like ma- Singaporean and Malay. Come I don't know. <laughs> he's got he's got a, he's got a Chinese voice. What do you guys think? Like. I'm gonna just go with uh, Filipino. Wait, can you pick a? Can we say yeah. one more sentence? Not yeah, do one, do one, do one. Can you say? Man, don't get I'm, mad. I'm addi- like, <laughs> whoa, I'm whoa. gonna say I'm addicted to, to snacks. I had to have it. One more sentence. I'm Wait, addicted to again. snacks. I need to have it. You guys need to come to Cracker Barrel. Okay. Whoa. Wow. What the <laughs> heck? That was, that was white. That sounded so racist. I know, but he's trying to throw us off right now. I know. The content of the sentence was white, but I don't think he's white. The confidence of a white I, man. I'm going to say Malaysian. <laughs> I'm going to say Malaysian. I like though. that. I'll say, uh, Malaysian is good. I'll say Vietnamese. Singapore. Definitely a are they, are, they, are they crazy rich Asians? I ain't no crazy rich Asian. That's why. Ooh. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that, well, okay, you're doing too much now. Right? <laughs> Hold on, huh? All right, reveal it. I know, like, Re- I can't say it now. All right, reveal Either it. Either or Laos. Reveal it. Laos. Filipino. What are you? I'm Korean. Oh. What? <laughs> Where are you from? Yo, are you on a variety show right now? Why are you switching your mooksody up like that, bro? Wait, <laughs> yo, yo, did you yo, change hold up on, your... relax. Did you change your off. voice? Yeah, he's changed I'm the... I'm from Hawaii. Oh. oh, the Koreans are a little different right. in Hawaii. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a that's you a got different that kind. Y night twing, yeah, right there. that's a <laughs> low Korean, you know. Local, Shout out, that local zippy moko. zip pack moksu. So that's okay. a that's a different Korean. Okay, aloha, thank oh my you. My God, is your wife aloha. laughing in the background? Or what? Why does it sound racist? What you doing? Aloha, <laughs> aloha, <laughs> aloha. Loco Moco. Aloha. 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 Yo, that's beautiful that the couple is listening together, though. Um, that's great. You guys, a couple that listens together. Mahalo. Wait, he was trying to throw us off with the he Cracker was. Barrel because there's no Aloha Cracker Aloha Barrel yeseo. in Hawaii. In Hawaii. No. You know, if you're from Hawaii, you're almost like more Asian because we're True. not a minority there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the, the Koreans there are a little different. You the know? Asians there are so Pacific cool. Islander, I feel like sure. they're so cool compared to they're us. So, they're tan. We're a little chill. <laughs> yeah, a lo- they're so chill. A, a little more spam in that kimchi chige. You know <laughs> I what I mean? A little yeah. more spam in that kimchi chige. But that's, the only, that's yeah, how we want it. I was just in Hawaii, actually. Oh, I, play, yeah. I played the new Yakuza game. Yeah. It takes place in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay. We were actually. All right. We were actually. <laughs> we were actually. We actually I was actually Aloha. there too. <laughs> Aloha! I was actually there. The way we love. By the way, we love you. We guys. were the only. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all always welcome to come visit us. <laughs> oh, thank you, you, you. You're in Hawaii. Which island are you on right now? <laughs> what are the amenities like? Yeah. Yeah. Which island? We 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 actually live in Texas right now. Oh, but, uh, oh okay. the okay. raised in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> You're really trying to take us for a whirlwind of a ride, huh? Mr. Switch em ups over here. <laughs> we got Carmen San Diego. Who are you? Where are you trying to get laid in some cowboy play? Are you Aloha or Howdy soldier or yeah. whatever? So, did the husband put the wife onto the pod, or vice versa? <laughs> Aloha. Oh, the, the wife put me on the call. I'll, I'll give it back to her. Here you go. Nice hearing from y'all. No, Thanks. nice hearing from you too. He's bro. like, I'm not even married. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice hanging loose with you. <laughs> Whoa. Hang, hang loose, aloha, hang you, aloha. I long hey, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, guys. <laughs> What's up? Addicted to snacks. So What's up? <laughs> we think we're Hawaiian. <laughs> What's up, guys? I was Latina the last time I was on the show. Oh, oh yeah. I remember now. I remember. I, remember, I do remember her. But I'm actually Vietnamese. <laughs> What? See, Wait, what? what? Yo, oh, hang up! Hang yo, hang up on this Jack in the Box couple right now, bro. Fuck <laughs> out <laughs> 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 of here. You guys are not. Just come You're... back from Hawaii. You guys are not being Aloha right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So you guys see this. This was gonna happen with Minority yeah. Report. Well, uh, addicted to snacks. Thank you for calling. Thank we're, gonna, you. we're gonna stop taking calls for a bit, guys. Thank you. You're you amazing. Okay. We're gonna You're stop amazing. taking calls for a bit. All right, Wait, um, except Sarah. Come on, Sarah's an OG. Well, I know, but she we left. couldn't get. We can't oh, get. Oh, okay. she's back on. I she's think. back, Sarah. Oh, she's let's back. just say hi right, to let's Sarah. Let's take one more then. One more. Sarah. Aloha, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah unmutes. Um, yep. Sarah. She's her. Aloha. We <laughs> love you. Aloha. Hi. What's up, Sarah? Hey. Long time. Happy Long. 300. Yay. Yay. 
She's a she's been listening since the beginning. Wow. Sarah. Wow. Yeah, I know. She's, she's What's great. on your mind, Sarah? Oh. On my mind, I'm just glad that we've been keeping fun with them for a long time. Yeah. You know what? I have an exclusive Sarah B. Sleepy story that I haven't shared with anybody. Uh -oh. I might do it for the 300. Uh, Go ahead, episode. share. I'm gonna do it without uh, uh without crimin incriminating anybody. But you know, when you're on tour, we're looking for things. You know what I mean? We're we're looking for just uh things to do, amenities, <laughs> extracurricular. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Already sounds us. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say um, she was just the most accommodating, the most incredible uh, tour host. Mm. That's all I'm gonna say. So what? she got the cocaine. Why okay. did you make it sound like that? <laughs> um, <laughs> that I I can't tell Sarah, if she brought what? you weed or gave you head. I don't know. How to, I don't oh, know no. what the hell that was right there. Oh, what in no. the world? Uh -oh. <laughs> what the hell? Uh -oh. Look at it, uh -oh. everything all red. It's just an appreciation. I, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, she thank you, awesome. Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> but Sa Sarah has been Sarah has been listening up, listening for a long time. She's called in during the COVID days as well. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Sarah, when did you start tuning into this pod? I don't remember. Yes, thank you for taking my call. <laughs> I think there's like a ping or something. I think there's a little bit of a, uh, there's a problem here. I think she, we're going to have to. Dumb world. Sarah, dumb appreciate you. Dumb world. Okay, cool. It's just hard to hear. I can't hear Wait, her. Yeah. So what did she do? Nothing. Uh, just, <laughs> no, let's leave it. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's mysterious. Mystery. mystery is fun. Yeah. Okay. Sarah, thank you for calling. Bye, Sarah. Love thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. We love you. Um, We're going to stop taking calls okay. for a bit. Um, I just want to say. Um. Yeah, we're here on the 300th episode. Andrea, you joined in kind of on the late side. How do you feel about this pod? Do you like this pod? <laughs> like, uh, whoa, putting me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> no, I do. I do. Of course. Is it too spicy for you or thing. what? <laughs> what? My life. To be honest, honestly, not spicy enough. Whoa! <laughs> I love it. I, I love have. It. I'm bringing the spice. Yeah, you are. My la. Yeah. She the spice. Yeah. I do live in K Town, so. Mm. Okay, Andrea. <laughs> And you're from your perspective, you you've been on a lot of pods, yes. right? And you've li you listen to a bunch of pods, right? Yes. What do you think would it take to take fun with dumb to the next level? <laughs> Ooh, more, more. If the host got younger, that's <laughs> 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 no, like no. A lot of pod hosts are older than me. More fighting. Mm. More, Ooh, we used more to do that. racism. Yeah, yeah. we used more, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> more, so more spicy takes. More sexism. Yeah. More. We never did that here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Add <laughs> add sexism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Um. I think. Just no. It's great. Just keep going. Yeah. The consistency. You know, is good. Three hundred. That's great. Keep it. Uh, let's take more. her. Let's take her advice and start. With Wait, some shut of up, Steffi. <laughs> <laughs> More <Dude>. sex <laughs> starts now. Shut <laughs> your guy, It's been so long. I get it. I was gonna say, guys stink. <laughs> yeah, guys are not. Men are men are stupid. Yeah, men are stupid. Is that the best, best <laughs> you have? Literally... Is that the spiciest thing? <laughs> wow. You? Uh, for a second, I want to just change up the thing. Um, I'm gonna ask uh, if we can just have the three um, yeah. uh, people over there. Um, actually, so one person might need to stay there. Um, could I have, could I have, uh, whatchamacallit, them grab a mic real quick? Uh, yeah, grab your mic. Stay, I'll stay here, so, he's like, you wanna stay there? Alright guys, my bad for calling guys home guys, first of all. So disrespectful. We're already off to a bad wow. start. These are the producers of the Woo! podcast. Over the span of the last six years, we've had different sound people. There's actually one or two more that's not here, but um, Tony was one of the originals. You were around the the COVID episodes, right? Yeah, it was before. Yeah, before COVID. This is Tony yeah. K. We this love him. This is Johnny Che, who was around the last uh, few months, right? Last six months, like year and a half. Year and oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Right. Jesus yeah. Christ! Two months. Oh, yeah. my God, I couldn't tell apart you and Alex. Uh, now nah, at me, uh, but it was. Johnny Che for the year and a half, 
And then Alex joined in again the last few months, but he's been around for the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. I've been on since around 2020 and then took a little <laughs> okay. bit of time off to uh, see, see the, the world and I'm back. I'm, I'm getting all the timeline <laughs> wrong over here. Um, shout out to everyone who makes the uh, podcast happen. And we've got Dave Wu in the back there, shout who's a Dave. producer overall, overseer of everything. Um, do, do you guys feel like the podcast has gotten better or worse? Oof. Don't do this got, to me. I think it got better. Don't yeah, do this to me. Sure. Since better? you've left. For, <laughs> for sure. No, it, no, it, it, no it, got, it got better, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you were able to see the transitions and it's... Yeah, like more more guests and, uh, you know, like more deeper topics, obviously. And Vulnerability. Like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, I like that because uh, it, you know, it shows who you guys are, be, you know, besides the art side of you guys yeah because you're actually one of the only one of our friend guy friends who actually goes to therapy he's literally the only person goes did to you therapy? even know that I he went know to that. see no. he's the only one actually cares about this well he ghosted us too so no, i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> Uh, maybe, it maybe it was too toxic johnny che what what are your thoughts What's going on so johnny we found like when we we're looking for uh we we're hiring and he answered the call but you were a fan of the pod for a while yeah right? i was listening for like a couple of years since the pandemic and then you stopped i stopped why, yeah. why did you stop i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> you did stop but what do you mean no, i still listen to it no but you said week. you stopped that one point no oh you continue yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, the whole time. Okay, thank you. You listen yeah. to our podcast? Oh, before. Oh, and before too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you talented oh. Mr. Ripley your way in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Lurking I was on a huge us. fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, found my way in and then and yeah. quickly left. First of all, no, John, for, <laughs> oh, Johnny still mixes it. By the way, Johnny still mixes all the audio on our podcast. Oh my gosh, yeah, I didn't so, know that. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I don't tell everybody. Sorry, I, don't tell I, don't, everybody. I don't know what's going on. I swear it just tra transitions. It's like a new person every time. Y'all yeah. always look kind of similar. I'm not going to lie. Something <laughs> I, is happening. Okay. We always say Johnny looks like me and Alex combined. <laughs> kind of does. A little bit. Yeah, you know? I could see that. Fair. But, but yeah. Johnny actually quit recently to pursue his passions of DJing and actually has found success. Yeah, in it. so wow. I've been grinding for a while now. And uh, I don't know. I. I was doing a lot for the pod for a while. I was doing like all the social media and editing and I mean, it was fun. I enjoyed it, but uh, yeah, I got to a point where I was like, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I, I kind of just backed out. And, and it's then, been working out. Yeah. And then my life got really lit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you would, would you say quitting this pod was crucial to the there success? There might be a correlation there. There, there is. Uh, possibly. But uh, because I mean, literally within the weeks of him quitting this podcast, mm -hmm. he's DJing for like a thousand people at clubs. He's more successful uh, than you. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, but it has been lit. Your no, life has been, been going lit. good. It's uh, I'm on the upswing right now. So wow. yeah, uh, I just want to say dumbfounded stole my name. Wow. <laughs> Wait, first what? of all, just, he's Johnny with a Y. You first were always all, Johnny. I just want to say that. You did come in as Johnny when I wasn't Johnny. Yeah, I came in like February last year, and then randomly in the summer, you're like, I'm gonna start going by Johnny yeah. now. I'm like, hold up. Okay, first yeah. of all, I've people have people have called me Johnny in the past. I want you no, to know. No, they that. haven't. I've yes, never heard suspicious. it. I've known I you for swear. a bit. No one has my ever mom and my sister has called me Johnny when I was a kid. They're not even here. I don't know where I pointed at right now. They're not here. But uh, anyways, Johnny, you're you're fired <laughs> so, again. All okay. right, no, no, I'm good. kidding. I'm kidding. He he wasn't fired the first time. He quit. He's still working, right? Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm literally working. Are right you now. Yeah, mixed working up? right now, John? Are you mixing them up? Um, about to sabotage. But whole Johnny, thank you so much for the times you've been here for us. Um, when you were here, actually, I did really think you at contributed a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. you. You gave us kind of advice on things that are working and aren't mm. working. You know, it's nice to have a younger voice. Do you feel like one of them was better at their job than the others Ooh, i will say i could have gotten more from all of them <laughs> okay, okay. i'm kidding that's I'm crazy kidding. Nah, I'm, kidding. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm kidding i'm kidding all right let it out guys how can okay hold on how can johnny be a better boss oh wow here wow. we go okay yeah, <laughs> one, one okay. good thing let, one let me say my critique and then they, you guys can okay okay, okay. okay go that? one by one okay Okay, uh, uh, first, wait, first, don't we got to talk to Alex, too? We haven't talked to Alex yeah, a little bit. Let's talk to Alex. And then we'll, and then we'll do a review. Okay. okay. Alex, uh, you've been helping me out for a long time, because not just on the pod, but when I need to do an audition, he's the reader. Like, he'll read with me on the opposite end. 
And so early to the days of my audition, where I didn't know you're not supposed to like the reader's not supposed to do, do the accents. <laughs> he, like if it was like a girl role, then he'd be like, "Hey, my name is Lisa. I want to." I'm like, and then my agent would email me back like, "Yo, whoever's reading what you tell them, stop doing that." <laughs> And he would still read with me on a lot of auditions, right? Yeah, and you've only told the story on the pod like seven times <laughs> already. No, it's good. Um, I've always, you know, you you were my introduction to the music industry and everything, and I'm always so thankful that uh, I've been able to be a part of your career. <laughs> that sounds like some some sort of like yeah, like you're gonna like get graded or something. Holding a gun to your head, it is crazy. <laughs> All right, rip them apart now. <laughs> now, now say what you like. To I do. honestly think everyone has pulled through for me. If anything, I don't think I've been a good leader. It's true because I do get enough. <laughs> Wow, they know what said no. Nobody said no. How many you're times, great. You're have, great. You're how many times great, have I ripped into you guys about something about. that wasn't getting done or like something I was stressed out about? Like I wasn't a good leader because if I get stressed out, I show it. And I think that's a bad bad leadership. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. Wow, they're okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so lay up here. It, okay. it takes a leader to admit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. So okay. Say- this is human resources. So Steffi is the human resources, mm-hmm. and then you. So you guys are coming into Steffi's office. Go ahead. Go. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hi. Um. Yeah. Thank you so much for working with Fun with Dumb. Um. We've had some complaints. <laughs> and, Wait. Who's complaining? Oh. <laughs> and we're. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, and we're just curious. Uh. We'd like to do like a a report on on the boss on sure. uh dumbfounded Park Edgar. It's the annual review, guys. Go ahead. Annual review. Let us know. Um. What you think? Is this, uh, is this confidential? It's confidential. No one's hearing. No it's one's completely hearing. confidential. It's off the record. Off the record. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. What do you want? What would so you like to tell know? me one good thing you like about working with them, and then one bad thing that he can work on. Um, I think I'll start. Off, I'll start off with the bad then. Okay, you let's know. go. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, maybe a little emotional. Oh, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. and when, when he's a little bitch, isn't he? Sometimes, when, yeah. uh, uh-huh. no, no, that, you're not even uh, in here. Uh, I'm just the intern. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> why is there an intern here? <laughs> um, no, uh, when you know, when things get stressful, uh, sometimes you need the leader to set the tone for everyone to keep calm, mm-hmm. you know, and sometimes, uh, we, you know. We have different different opinions, you know, and uh, just goes back and forth. And sometimes it goes back and forth too much. Okay. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I think the good things he's done is, uh, yeah, show 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 us like, uh, give us knowledge, you know, because he is uh, young. You know, this is confidential, right? You're allowed to go say whatever you want about him. Uh, and uh, no, uh, for real, like dropping knowledge on us about like very nuanced things. Okay, so it doesn't have to do with the podcast. You're just saying generally he has a lot of knowledge. Just him as yeah, a person. Yeah, you're as a person <laughs> at this point, as a friend. As a, as a boss. You as guys a boss. should take me as a as boss, boss as opposed to like, just what like... What was he doing? Okay, so what did you... The way he bossed you, how did you... What did you like? Rate it 1 to 10. 10 being good-ass boss. Uh, uh, say like a 7. Whoa! Okay, good. that's better than you thought. 7 out of 10. That's, that's not bad. That's good. not good. Uh, that's not bad, though. Okay, it's cool. average. All right, Johnny Buddy Che, average. you want to give a review? This is Human Resources. Yeah, yeah uh, not a great time. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. <laughs> no, it was, everything was chill. I mean, dumb. It was just a lot. It was just a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot. I huh? had like three conversations before I actually quit with Dumb. I'm like, hey, it's kind of a lot, bro. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work yeah. for not much return right now. Yeah, it was yes. like nearly full time job uh, type yeah. hours. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, was, was a it wasn't a full time job. So <laughs> <laughs> he's like, um, if, if I would have rather more, gone. Would you have done it? Uh, I had health, health insurance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, that'd be great. okay. <laughs> wow. Same. Well, okay. sorry. We can't provide you that. Um, Soon. Next time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what did you like about working with um, him? He just takes care of us, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, the food. It. The yeah, food. food. Always the food. Yeah. The food. You are a great leader in that way. Alex, What? here we go. No gun to your head. Just lay it on me, buddy. Uh, my hot take about Dumbathin E. Parkington is that... <laughs> uh, 
he, well, you know, he always talks about growing the the podcast, right? And um, we like a mix of episodes, some with crew, some with guests. Um, on the guest front, I think that he tends to not want to bring people onto the pod that he thinks is cooler than him Whoa! or more su- or more wow! successful than him. Or not, this is no slight to all the guests you've had Whoa! because they've been super great. But he always talks about like wanting to like you know put people on, which is which is you know totally valid and stuff. But if you do want to see results, some of the best episodes definitely have big name guests. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. My you- man, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold All on. Right, he you really the tr- think I haven't had guests on the pod that are cooler than me? No, that you think are cool. Like, like you, you don't they, want they, to bring they in guests. That what are you talking about? Cool. I've had We've a lot of pods this. that I think mad no, people are cooler than but, me. But what I it is? So. Nah, I think it's like you. There is a form. Okay, give me, give me, give me an idea. Give me a guess that you think that I got intimidated by for bringing on here. No, no, not, no, 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 no. You didn't bring them on yet. I know, but you're yeah. saying I was intimidated by them. That's why I didn't bring them on. I think it's not intim- I think it's the fact that they might overpower the room in some way it, and, and like make you uncomfortable or something like that. No, so- I don't mind overpowering. I've been overpowered on here. <laughs> Hey, I've been overpowered. <laughs> His voice is... <laughs> no. Okay. I- so now say okay. That's a. Th- th- I feel like that is something that's interesting that we've all discussed as a truth. So John, sorry. And how about what is the 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 good? What are some good things about being on the po- working with the pod? Um. Yeah. Silence is crazy. Yeah, it's I know. Silence. <laughs> silence is wow. so. I'm getting I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Here. Time is up. I'm um, getting so nervous. Please pack your things up. Uh, you have failed the test. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, thank you, Alex, you for that. Go ahead. That was, that was a bit. That was a bit. That no, was a bit. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. No, no seriously, no, 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 like, he, wow, like, that was a bit. Uh, like from that everything. very specific <laughs> thing was a bit. That was one sculpture. <laughs> But pretty much my whole my whole <laughs> existence and my trajectory back. in Los Angeles is is because of Dumb, who Aww. put me on first and continually oh, sees you know potential you know and stuff and yeah um it's definitely like if if anyone like says the hard truth and cuts to the yeah. hard truth you know it's him and so it keeps me honest like instead of, he does it doesn't bullshit he's like really will say it no matter how he says it it's it's the truth so I I do appreciate it's that. the yeah. good the good comes with the bad the bad always yeah. comes with the good you always know how to balance people out man. <laughs> <laughs> Steffi's laugh is so crazy. It's I don't know if it's evil or I know it's like so exciting. I don't know why this is so exciting. Um well thank you, Alex, for that. And we'll have a talk after okay. this. Um uh, Johnny, uh, is there anything else you guys want to get off your chest? Yeah. Alex has a whole list apparently. Yeah, rate here. him one to ten as a boss. As a boss, not as a friend. Because a friend is a different thing. That that's true. I think that's also between that and a small little bit of the age gap and the and you know um, seniority. It, 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 it does mm-hmm. it does kind of complicate things sometimes. Yeah. But like for the most part, it, it works. I think yeah. that's yeah. what it is. It's yeah. it's yeah. really hard to separate yeah. like work from friendship. Yeah. And that's why it gets very. I mean, uh, emotional. Sometimes. Alex, yeah. you know, I got mad respect for you as someone who was a rooftop Korean in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've really served our city really well. Um, well, anything else before we uh, wrap it up with you guys? Johnny Che, Tony, Alex, the three who've been with me through thick and thin, <laughs> through my yelling and emotional Literally. rants. It's been a lot. I've never satisfied. I get it. I'm a bad boss. I don't communicate oh, you're well. Not, you're, no, you're, not great. you're great. You're not you're bad. Great. You're not bad. Not I bad know boss. all of this. Even you know, and some of you guys have even picked me up from the airport. And and that's not even in the job description, you know what I mean? Alex has done uh, British accents and other problematic accents while doing the auditions with me, which I is crazy. I see him like braid your hair. <laughs> uh, wait, what? That, is, <laughs> that, that has never happened. That to has me. literally. Are we in jail? What in the world is happening? Um, but you know, I, no, we appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank yeah, thank yeah, you, man. man. You know, I'm man. here for you guys. Yeah. And uh, would you guys like to see the pod go longer? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, five hundred. Yes, working let's on go myself. to five hundo. Yeah, five hundo. Um, let's go. Okay, guys. So uh, five hundred, and then we will just quit. No. Oh, okay, keep going. All right, no. let's just do that. Do something big. We uh, gotta make millions. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. The Thanks, goal, guys. The goal is <laughs> to you have guys. your Thank own you. big studio. Yeah, that'd be the goal. Because this is out of my house, by the way, guys. If you guys aren't familiar, this is my. 
Thank you. We're going to wrap it up, but let's get Andrea and Rec and Rick back in here. Peace. Yes, sir. Shout out to everyone. Damn, this is crazy. If we continue this to 500 episodes, that means I will be like 45 years old or something. That's insane. Wow. Sound guys are out here or what? (laughs) Is the uh, video cameras cool or what? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, guys, um, that was a mistake, wasn't it? We're gonna wrap things up right crazy. here. Nah, that was nice. That was I'm not that was mad. So crazy. <laughs> this was that. This was that whole time. Uh, <laughs> that was like this. That was very <laughs> here. The truth is, if this was a real place of employment, yeah, thank you. And there was HR, I would have gotten in trouble already for my methods. And you, Rick, you, you would have been arrested. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would have been in jail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I know that uh, the amount that they've endured and it was willing to, you know, just go, go along for the ride. And thank you guys, man. Can I just say this? Yeah. I know you hate compliments. <laughs> You're a great leader, bro. You really are. We know. all have emotional <laughs> moments, but bro, we're all growing. We're all developing. Right, guys? We're still yeah, here. yeah. We're still here. <laughs> yeah, man. Hi, Ting. Whiting. Um, anything else? Last words before we wrap this episode up. Andrea, thank you for being a newest addition to this and being a light to it. the pod. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Steffi has been dying for another female counterparty here forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay. yeah. I can so, so see uh, Rick as like a North Korean disciplinary <laughs> officer. Yeah. Of some sort. Mm-hmm. Oh, is wait. there no audio? Mm, no, uh, it's coming uh, on my side. I'm getting it. Is audio coming yeah, in? That guy's tripping. Okay, we're good. Refresh the stream. Oh, we good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Yo, that was a hell of a small <laughs> Thanks for bringing diversity. Uh, I am bringing diversity. Drek, too many Koreans. Every time you join the pod, too people love here. you joining in yep. and all the stuff that, all the crazy stuff you've been a part of here. You've really spiced things up. Yeah. I think that uh, when we all get together, it's just like we are mad real with each other, you know? And if you say something like that we know is not true, we call you out like right away. <laughs> that's what I needed yeah. on this yeah, pod. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's why people like when I come on, I think it's more because it becomes that chemistry. I'm the yes man on the pod. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> and then when you come on, you call them out, bro. You <laughs> even it out. Yeah. Steffi, yeah. Um, I got to say, you've been such a great addition to the pod. We truly love you. You are our sister. You are our partner, co-host. You are the wind partner? beneath my wing. Aww. What happened to the other wing? What do you, there's two wings. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's yeah. the other yeah. wing? But I, I truly, we truly love you, all of us, right? Steffi is like... <laughs> right? You asked me for confirmation. Yeah. Wait, am I right, everybody? <laughs> no, I'm just, try, I'm just trying to join, have everyone join in. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. No, no Steffi, yeah, you, y'all know I love Steffi. Yeah, you know? you're like yeah, the biggest. She knows fan. I love. Her. Yeah, Aloha. she's the voice of reason. Honestly, a lot of times, <laughs> that's when you know you're in trouble. I've I've grown. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I, Steffi's the voice of reason. I, I, we're wilding out right now. I, I've I've grown I've grown a lot because Steffi has you know talked to me and and like give me secondhand therapy from like her therapist yeah so i don't have to pay for it you get the leftovers i get the leftovers yeah, 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 yeah. and it's worded wow. all weird you know I, mean? I mean i want to thank you so much for everything a lot of things in my life and the friendships i've created because of the community fun with dumb people just like telling us how much it's changed their lives where i made that up no one, no one said that <laughs> No, but people do uh, come up and say they have such a good time. Um, and um, giving a opportunity for some some strong-ass women to speak on this podcast yeah, and I, say some things. I love you that. Know? Someone even said, I would have listened to this pod without Steffi as a woman. Yeah, that's I love that, and, and I, I've heard that many times. Yeah, they're like when there's when you it's just you, Rick, and like Rec. It's just always like somehow it's rambunctious. It goes to like a, some sort of masturbation yeah. cut to topic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like some sort of yeah. masturbation. Yeah. Um, but so. yeah, it's been a great community, and I gotta thank thank Rick, uh, you, dumb obviously, Rec always being so fun and silly and making us all feel uh, crazy and welcome. Mm. And and Andrea, I freaking love having you here. Aww. Yeah. I love having you here. And we love the Chinese and yeah. the Chinese. <laughs> we love Chinese food, Cantonese barbecue. <laughs> the Chinese. 
yes. And you yeah. know what? It was all a bit. I actually loved him some. I've been oh, serious yeah. this whole time. <laughs> wait, wait. I've never joked <laughs> Why you... in my life. It's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit. And thank you to our sponsors, Timu. For the clips, uh, the we want to thank. We want to thank our sponsors. Yeah. Uh, nah, but honestly. I love y'all, man. What a team. Right. Fun with them, y'all. Let's Three go. Huh? 300. Woo. Keep tuning in. 300 episodes. Thank you to everybody. Bye. Join us in this live. We love y'all. Please follow us and follow the pod for another 300 episodes because I'm not going to stop, y'all. Sometimes every week I want to quit, honestly. It's been a minute quit. you haven't. You no, know why it's I can't a... quit? Because I'm petty. I can't. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't it's, let pods that I don't yeah, like yeah, yeah. continue, and I just quit. Hundred <laughs> percent. Pettiness is keeping me going. I will go on forever as long as that other pod is gonna keep on going. You say it. No. Say it. No, yeah. As long as those other pods are going, I'm not stopping. Yeah, absolutely. Not. Call my bluff. <laughs> Call my bluff. <laughs> All right, y'all. Three hundred episodes. Fun with dumb. Tune in next week. Bye, Peace. Guys.